giant beer. Ah, I hit my foot. I stubbed my toe on my green screen right there, chat. That hurt a lot. Hmm. Paradox would a Freeburg and Seltzer movie be too cruel? I honestly, I don't know if I should even review those because they're not even really movies when you think about it. They're just collections of scenes that don't really have a, a, a plot. They're just, it's just a parody throughout, but it's a parody of so many different genres that just go from one scene to the next. I don't think that's like a, I don't, I don't know if that'd be like good for a, a spoiler review. I'm not sure. I mean, if you guys think so, let me know. Oh. I was like, oh, you sure Godzilla 98, sharing your thoughts? Yeah, man. Check that out, guys. One Big Nerd, that movie was the first movie I walked out of and I was like, yep, this is trash. Which one? Was it Godzilla? Paradox, I'm going to see Free Guy. I'm going to see you know, the, the Ryan Reynolds movie. It looks fun. Not just because I go see almost everything, but because it looks pretty cool. No, I agree with you, man. That looks like uh, it's going to have some fun with the video game genre itself. A nice parody. Yeah, see, that's a, hopefully it'll be a, an example of a good parody. Yeah, add Arctic Dogs and Playing With Fire to the list. Uh, Arctic Dogs is on there. What's playing with fire? I haven't added that to the list yet. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like it looks like fun. I I I mean, we talked about that on Double Toasted a couple weeks back, the trailer, and we were all fairly positive about it. You know, I think maybe we have one critique uh, that maybe it could be almost too much of a parody. Yeah, you know, but like it just constantly referencing video games. I think that's kind of the point, though. So we'll see. I, I like what I saw so far. Mm. Oh, the firefighter movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll that to the list. I'll add up the word, Doc. Thank you, Chris Ayers. Hmm. Mr. Yasmin, Chris, I have to leave. Take care and have a good stream. Thank you, Mr. Yasmin. Have a good night. Now, guys, I'm going to get right into it so we can get to the video game playing because I know you guys want me to see me play the video games. Going to finish Duke Nukem Forever, hopefully tonight. Maybe play the, uh, the, the DLC as well. But as part of my obligations to you i have to read a chapter of erotic sonic fan fiction for the month of february every time i hit my stretch goal i'll have to read <laughs> i think at this point we are i'm i'm i owe you guys two other chapters of sonic fan fiction <laughs> but here's the here's the the, the the second one that i owe you so here we go guys sonic high school chapter two just to give you a recap of sonic high school sonic is indeed in high school uh, he's having an issue with his balls right now. His balls, his penis, and his butthole. And he's very very embarrassed about it. And the, and the entire school knows about those three things that Sonic has an issue with. But here we go. This is Sonic High School Chapter 2. The rest of the day uh, for Sonic was awful. So bad it was that Sonic went home and went right to the bathroom and took a big poop. It was a mad poop because it went out fast like Sonic. It shoot out his butthole so fast it was like a gun shooting. His poop stunk so much that even the neighbors could smell it. And they all had a meeting at night about what to do about it. And they decided that they would just put fans on an outside. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> and it really started to smell again. They would do something else. They'd fucking kill that hedgehog. So Sonic pooped and went up to his room and shouted into the pillow. I hate everything. Sonic shouted loud and he heard a knock on his door. What is wrong, Sonic? Asked Sonic's mother. Nothing, said Sonic. Okay, just keep it down because I'm trying to watch the TV, said Sonic's mom to Sonic and left without saying anything else. Sonic was in his room still, so he looked out to the window and saw Tails flying there with his flying tails. Sonic, are you okay, asked Tails. I was worried about you, Sonic. Sonic was less mad because Tails was always nice and smart and didn't care that Sonic left his porns around his room so he could think about kissing and doing sex on Amy when he wasn't with Amy. Please be happy, said Tails. Are you there? Sonic went to the window and opened the window. Sonic grabbed Tails and put him to the bed because Sonic is strong too. Very strong. This day was the worst, said Sonic. Everyone thinks I'm a... <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm a loser. All because I gave them my journal. Sonic cried a little and Tails put his hand under his face to catch his tears. Tears can stain a carpet. Tails hugged Sonic and said, I'm always here for you. You spelled with just the letter U. The prom is, uh, is tonight also. Wow, I forgot, said Sonic. Sonic ran to his closet fast and pulled out his prom uniform. It's a tuxedo. And put it on fast. Is your limo here yet, Tails, said Sonic, while looking at Tails. Yes, said Tails, who was looking right back. Let's go. And Sonic went outside with Tails, who was also in prom clothing. And they went outside and got in the limo. The limo was broken, said the limo driver, who looked like a person, but darker colored. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. 
<laughs> it looked like a person, but darker color. Oh my god. <laughs> the limo is broken, said the limo driver, who looked like a person, but darker color. Sound like a tails got the limo and asked the limo driver if they could fix it. Nope, the limo is broken inter eternally, eternally, forever, Chad, <laughs> said the limo driver. So son of grabbed Tails' hand and said, let's go, and ran all the way to the prom, which was on the island called Ghost Island. Ooh, Chad, give him the spookies. This place is scary, said Tails. Ghost Island was really scary. It was shaped like a skull, and everything looked like it was dead. Sonic looked at Tails. Yeah, it is, said Sonic. Why would they put the prom on this island, said Tails? I don't see anyone from the school here. Tails and Sonic were both worried about it all. Sonic and Tails walked forward, and there was a haunted house. Sonic and Tails went into the haunted house, and it was spooky. Sonic saw a ghost, and Tails saw a mummy. There was a man laughing at them. It was me, Chad. It was me all along. Ha, 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 Sonic and Tails. Now you are both here and fallen right into my trap, said the man laughing. The man looked like a fat, immature guy. Changing some of the dialogue here, chat. It was Dr. Eggman. Eggman, why are you here, asked Sonic, and shouted at Eggman. Are you here for the Chaos Emeralds? Sonic shook his fist at Eggman. And Tails ran at him, but was an idiot. He was because a cage fell down from the top of the sky and trapped Tails. You are doomed now, said Eggman. Welcome to a graveyard of you. This actually could be dialogue from a Sonic game. Sonic was shocked, but did not run forward because he didn't want to get caught, too. But what if Eggman did not have another cage? Sonic did not know, so he went to the side, into a different room. This room was smaller and had carpets and wallpaper. It was scary, though. Sonic said, I need to find a way out to save Tails. And he walked into a door that was on the next wall. Next thing, said Sonic. And he came out of the room into the same room he was in. This is a haunted house, so you always come back to the same place, said Sonic thinking of famous sayings he saw once on the wall of the Walgreens, where it was written. Walgreens, good shout out. Eggman laughed and pointed at Sonic. I kissed Amy, and now you can never date her again, because I'm going to do sex to her tonight. No, it cannot be real, said Sonic. Sonic knew that he had to do something. But what? End of chapter two. I owe you a chapter tomorrow. <laughs> what will happen to Sonic? A kid wrote this right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Kingdom Hearts fan fiction. That could be fun. <laughs> God, a sex to her. <laughs> Gonna sex her all night. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to be doing some voting because we did hit my stretch goal. We're counting the biddies I earned the other night. So this, this whole, I'm, I'm going to have to reset this again. I'm going to have to reset this properly. Or at least set it at a point where uh, the, of the biddies it's earned. But uh, let's go ahead and get a new poll up going. We'll vote on the on the next bad movie review chat, which I'll do on Tuesday, and uh, we'll start the gameplay. Get back in the Duke Nukem, finish it up tonight, which should be fun. Hmm. Just bear with me. And if, any, if anyone has any suggestions on what you like me to review next, please do so right now. Go ahead and post them in the chat. I got a couple off the top of my head that I know of. I think it'd be fun. I might, you know what, I might, I might throw in even a good movie in there, chat. I think my, I'm going to throw in a good movie. I need a fucking break. <laughs> I'm watching bullshit. You, will you allow me that? Will you allow me that? <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's do a poll. All right, do a new, new poll. Which movie should I review? So the first option will be, uh, let's do uh, Anaconda. All right, we got that one, because that's a, that's a popular one. Uh, let me think of something else, chat. What are you guys posting? Oh, that's a good one. Generally, thank you. Oh, the Terminator. We'll put the Terminator, the original. Terminator 1984. Mm. Scooby-Doo. So the live out Scooby Doo what, what was that two thousand one? I'll do Scooby Doo. Uh, two thousand one, I guess. I guess it's the live action. We all know what that is. Uh, the other option I'll have. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, Truth or Dare. We'll do Truth or Dare, which is a very bad uh, horror film. Truth or Dare. And I'm gonna add one myself, Jess. This is this is gonna be a me one. It's gonna be a me one. 
Oh, you know what, John Early? That's, that's a good one. Let's do that. Let's do The Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead. I was going to do uh, Big Trouble in Little China, but we'll do The Evil Dead. I like that. Yeah, so we got some, we got some bad ones, and we got some good ones this time, chat. The Evil Dead. All right. Let's go ahead and start the poll. Would you put that on for three minutes? Go ahead. It's going to appear above the chat, guys. It's going to appear above the chat right near the Biddy Boss Champions. So the options are Anaconda, The Terminator, 1984, Scooby-Doo, 2001, I think. Uh, Truth or Dare and The Evil Dead. Oh, I got to vote for Scooby-Doo. You guys want me to suffer. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's a couple of good movies. Oh, Truth. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. You picked all the bad ones. But Scooby-Doo is leading the pack right now. Scooby-Doo with three votes. Wow, chat. Uh, one vote for Terminator. Thank you, whoever you were. Thank you for taking some pity on me. <laughs> oh, you have over Evil Dead. There we go. But Scooby-Doo is still leading, chat, with 43, nearly half, half of the vote, 43% of the vote. Huh? And the is picking up steam, though, right, be right behind it with 22. Oh, Terminator got another vote. Here we go, Truth or Dare. Anaconda, Terminator, and Truth or Dare are now tied, but Scooby-Doo still has that one other vote. That's what it has right now, chat. <laughs> Honestly, I don't pity the fool. Why? Pity me. Have I seen Ip Man? I've seen... I think I've seen the first one. I think I'm on the fourth one now, right? Show all the choices. The wonderful choices. <laughs> Looks like it might be Scooby-Doo, guys, and we're going to be at the halfway point in a couple seconds. It has been... I don't know. I, I think I saw... You know what? I don't think I've even seen, like, in its entirety, the first live-action Scooby-Doo. I've seen maybe some of it on TV and, like, some clips, but I've never sat down and watched the whole thing from uh, beginning to end. So that'll be, that'll be a new one. That'll be a complete new one for me. That'll, that'll be, a, like, a very authentic, fresh experience. I mean, I've seen some clips from it, but not from its entirety. Yeah. I know the ending. I know the big twist in the end, which, to be fair... It's a cool fucking twist. And apparently James Gunn wrote it, too. Yeah. Guy who did uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, fucking, uh, what was the other one? Slither. Uh, Super. A couple other um, films. Watch the Laza Kid do. The young lady that plays Velma is crazy. Oh, yeah. No, Velma is... Yeah, I, I looked that one up. Yeah, whoever's playing Velma in that movie is a whoo. I mean, Velma has always been the hot one to me. I've never been a Daphne fan, but Velma, nerdy girl... Nerdy, nerdy, uh, thick girl with incredible curves. I'm all about that. Oh my god, chat. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna deny it. I'm being honest with you right here and now. Mm. Good to see you, Don. Glad to see you. They're still here. I think. I think it's gonna be it. I think it's gonna be it. Some people might be on mobile devices, so it doesn't always appear on mobile devices. I think it's only if you have a desktop. But I think it's going to be Scooby-Doo, guys. Scooby, oh, you, you bastards. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, it's going to be Scooby-Doo. Oh, Evil Dead, we got a tie. We have a tie, chat. Wow. All right, we're going to we're gonna have to do another poll. It's going to be between, we have to do another poll now, chat. It's going to be between Scooby-Doo and the Evil Dead. I got to do a new poll. Here we go. All right. Which is, this is the first time this ever happened, chat, that we've had a tie on stream. Here we go. Which film should I review? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I don't know the lyrics. I forgot the lyrics, chat. It's been so long since so I've I watched the Scooby Doo cartoon. By the way, are we getting Scoob this year? What are your guys' thoughts on Scoob? I'm, I don't know. Like the one, I, matter of fact, the, the part of the trailer I actually liked was the stuff that didn't involve Shaggy and Scooby, but I liked everything that they showed with Velma, Fred, and Daphne. You know? Hmm. So we got Scooby-Doo and the Evil Dead. This is the, this is the original Scooby-Doo chat. I'm not doing the sequel. I, that's the, the, I'm doing the original Scooby-Doo. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll, put this, we'll put this one up for, we'll do, we'll do two minutes on this one. So you got to go quick. Got to go quick with this one. Do two minutes. There you go. Choose. All right, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is leading the pack. Evil Dead came in with a vote. There we go. Suffer. Suffer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're cruel, chat, but I'll do it for you. You gave me money, <laughs> so I'll have to. 
Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you for your generosity today, guys. Mm. Uh, Scooby-Doo did not need... That's a, it's a prequel. Like, part, part of it's a prequel, right? Part of it takes place in the past. The other part... Like, I bet I bet the big reveal is that Scooby's gonna be an alien. I think that's what they're leading to. That's why he fucking talks and, like, no other dogs talk. He's an, They were gonna do the whole thing where he's an alien. Yeah. Neil Breen's laptops! Welcome to the stream! Poor Chris. Poor me. Yeah, the first part of the film is definitely a prequel. No, I, yeah, you're right, Chris Harris. I think, I think the latter half of the film... Ow! Show, thank you for the 100 mini donation! And to the next stretch goal. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for your generosity. Who was the wrestler in Scooby-Doo? Uh... I don't know. The movie? I can, I, can, I don't remember anything about this film, Chad. I, I just know the, the, the big ending bit... And Matthew Lillard really loves playing this character. Good to Matthew Lillard, though, you know? Because he, he he started voicing Shaggy for years after when, you know, when Casey Kasem, I think, passed away. So that was pretty cool. What's this Scooby-Doo about stealing spirits? No, man, about uh, investigating mysteries and stuff. These goddamn meddling kids get involved where they shouldn't. They shouldn't stick their goddamn noses in it. Was Macho Man Randy Savage in, him, in the movie? I don't remember, chat. I legitimately do not know. You know more than me, I think. Hmm. That's it. I think I think it's gonna be Scooby Doo Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And with that chat, Tuesday uh, Tuesday's review after I do my uh, spoiler review for Suicide Squad tomorrow and my spoiler review, which I'm doing for free, chat. I'm doing that one for free for Birds of Prey on Monday. On Tuesday, I will do a spoiler review. For the 2001, 2002, uh, James Gunn written adaptation of Scooby Doo. I'll give that's my gift to you right now, chat. But now we're gonna go get to playing the gameplay. Hope hope you guys enjoyed the stream so far. I'm like I, I really like doing you know this different type of content. But I like your suggestion before Austinick keeping the movie reviews to an hour. I think that's some good advice, and I'll be uh, I'll be careful to do that in the future. Thank you. I always appreciate feedback. Guys, you want any changes or you feel like something could be better? Send it my way via my various social medias, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even here. Thank you. Mm, so let's get into it, everybody. Play that Duke. My battery's dead. No, I'm joking. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Pamela Anderson was a Scooby Doo. I just learned. I, see, I don't even know. I don't know. You're, you're spoiling it, chat. You're spoiling it for me. Paradox, what am I drinking? I am drinking uh, basically a, it's a, it's it's whiskey, but with a little bit of pineapple juice and some, uh, oh God, uh, soda water, which is pretty good. Basically sparkling water. It's very refreshing. Uh-huh. Yeah, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Isn't that where she met her husband, um, Freddie Prince Jr., who plays Fred? That's where they met, right? Ooh, shit, I can't, I can't skip this. Yeah, there's the, the, ooh, the boobalicious babes. All right, we can skip it now. <laughs> you can, hey, Chris, going to get shit-faced tonight? Is that a question, or is that, is that a statement? Am I going to get shit-faced tonight, or are you saying you're going to get shit-faced tonight? <laughs> uh, the man, uh, uh, I know what you did last They're in that movie? I don't, chat, I can't, I don't remember a single thing about that film. And the reason why is because after Scream came out in the early, like, the, what, early, mid-90s, Every horror movie at during that time tried to be Scream, and they all meld together in my brain. I can't, you know, like, ur like Urban Legend, uh, uh, what, you know, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and all the fucking spinoffs, but original Scream, guys, it's, it's kind of, I'm disappointed that it, because it, it, it was actually a really revolutionary film at the time. It was super popular that everyone tried to copy it, and I think its impact, sadly, has kind of been lessened, but it's great. I, I'm a big fan of Scream, and even it's the progenitor of Scream, New Nightmare, which is critique on the Hollywood system when it deals with like horror films. So, continue that campaign, getting into it, guys. The Craft, I remember The Craft, yeah. Ah. Uh, generally, whether likes imported beer from Europe as opposed to American. Hey, man, some good shit there. Those Europeans, they know what they're doing sometimes. Mr. Bean is in it. Plays a very important role in that movie. A shocking role. Mm. Fail 
little strength tap on a boss and the boss oh something. I don't know. I guess I'll never know. Alright, chat, let's go and kill people. How are we doing this? Ah! What do we have here? Someone's getting got. You're the soldier, get in there and Hello. Hey kids, the room this? I'll get you onto the elevator. Freeze, freeze ray, chat! I'll take a freeze ray. Oh, Nito! Hey, now hold on. I, I can't go barging into a combat situation unawares. I don't have a gun. What the hell am I supposed to use? No, I can't I go through. Know. Harsh language? It Take didn't it didn't accept rat. my hand print, chat. Hank and I use it to deep freeze rats in the pen stock tunnels all the time. I bet it worked just as good on the Oh, they said you Harley Quinn? Uh, the the, the animated series? Yeah, great episode, man. Oh, dude. Only Maybe you can help talk Only some two episodes guys. left now, guys. You have not watched the Harley Quinn animated and series. Just do the two it. of us here with combat training. So we'll wait for backup. It's so much fun. I am the backup. Backup, baby. Be careful with that thing. Last time Lawrence used it, he lost a pinky. I use it on you! This could hurt somebody good. He's fine. Why didn't you tell me that before? He's fine. Now we look like an ass in front of the King Nuke. <laughs> if you clear out that room, Duke, I'll get you to the elevator and down the kind of leaves already hot, but it's dumb as something else. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in, chat. Reindeer games? The Ben Affleck movie? These guys don't stand a chance. Oh, it's a piggy! It's a piggy! Ah! Ah! My gun back! Or my gun! I died! I got I got bamboozled, chat. They bamboozled me. It's not fair. I've been spending too much time talking about Godzilla and erotic sonic fan fiction and drinking. Always drinking. So I forgot how to play video games. What? Chat Chris loves giant woman. Yeah, oh, right. We talked about um, fucking food of the gods. Corey's got. Corey says he's gonna eventually do those movie reviews. He'll make those those an option, voting options for you guys in the future. Food of the gods and food of the gods part two. That'd be a good These time. These guys don't stand a chance. This freeze ray fucking sucks. What the fuck? Okay, this this fucking freeze ray is terrible. Nah, I'm not using this weapon anymore, chat. That it is. Mm. All right, all right. My finish is giant one. You don't know what my finish is. <laughs> I fooled you. You're not gonna put me in the cooler. Ice puns. Maybe I'll do Batman and Robin someday. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do the entire fucking Batman saga, chat. Starting with Burton, Schumacher, Nolan, Snyder. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a mistake. Let me get my. Uh, can I? Can I go back? No. All right. Well, I fucked myself. These guys don't stand the chance. Yeah. See, chat. Useless fucking ice ray. Shouldn't even use it. Give me that gun. No. Give me the gun. Shotgun chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> See when the Matt Reeves movie comes out. I'll tell me for some of the Batman films, definitely will. But I want to review some of the originals. I think that'd be fun. You guys seem to have really responded to these movie reviews. Ooh. Ooh. Chat. But it yeah, but in all honesty, guys, I, I really do appreciate the support. You know, the, the, I, I know it's just such a, a huge increase. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the content, you know? These guys Always like trying to stay Superman 3 and 4. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll be doing those. Yes, sir! Do 
douche. Goddamn douche, chap. Gotta take these sons of bitches out as quickly as possible. That's the guy that killed me. He had a shotgun on him, chat. That's what did me in last time. Not a fan of him. Oh. Oh. Ooh! Well, big balls. Way. Guy had a grenade. I'm pretty terrible throw. I have a freeze ray. Go ahead and get some more ammo. Oh, show! Thank you for the 100 minis! Been very generous today. Thank you so much. And, and seriously, guys, if you anyone else who's doing it in the stream, thank you. Really appreciate it. You're chilling, Chris. Just shoot him. I'm doing, man. You're having a nice, relaxing time. Oh, yeah. Chris Harris. All of those. All of those. All of those films. And Supergirl, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Ugh. Yeah, man. All fantastic suggestions. Ah! Got him. Woo! A aggressive there. Oh, 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 I see you, you pig bastard. Yeah, now you're fucking dead. You go. Now you're fucked up. Another freeze. Uh, fuck that gun. That gun fucking sucks. It's a terrible gun. Radio off. I did that on Sammy Ain't Seen Shit. I need to take a break from that one. <laughs> that's a, that's one we'll Chris will review in a few years. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Uh, oh, I'll take that. Right. Nope, nope, nope. Don't give it to me, chat. My grab. Oh, paper airplane? What is it? Oh, cool! Woo! It's all these paper planes, chat. Very nice. Who oh, is this? Zebra, thank you for the ball. Another Huckleberry. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Hope you having a nice Friday. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll review some of uh, M. Night Shyamalan's movie signs. I'll do, uh... You like 98 Godzilla? Oh no, no 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 no! <laughs> no I no I I don't I've been reviewing a lot of bad like doing spoiler reviews for a lot of bad movies on streams. I have people once I hit a specific stretch goal, uh, for example twenty five dollars, um, I do a poll. I provide five different options of, of a movie. I've, I've been adding good movies. I added a couple good movies tonight. People vote on it, and then that's what I review. I watch the film and then I review it next stream or however many streams from now. The most recent one was for Godzilla ninety eight. I, this is my third time ever watching my life. Did it when it came out in 98. Did it like when I was a teenager, 16, 17 years old. And then this is the third time I've ever seen it. And whoo! Whoo! Not a good movie! Pretty, pretty bad. Oh yeah, man! I, mean, I watched Godzilla vs. The, the Smog Monster. What was he also called? He was called something else, too. Ghidorah! Ghidorah, I remember that. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Yeah, big boy here. Ooh. Ooh. You dead yet, sir? Sir? Take oh. it easy. Oh, there's guys. What they got over here? That was horrific. Ah, chat, making some progress. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, the pods. Our RPG. Uh, guess I'm not. Am I going here? Am I going anywhere around here? No. Okay. Fair enough. Am I going a different direction now? What about here. This is the stairs. Nope. Not going that way. I've already been through here. I have no fucking objectives. Jet Jaguar? I remember that when Godzilla vs. Megalon. Uh, chat, I don't know where to go. Provide me with no other, it provided me with no options. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? 
I assumed it's this way because I had a fucking hole that just burst through. But uh, I'm not seeing any any other tunnels or shit. What's this? It's trash. It's an RPG. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, I don't. I legitimately do not know where to go. Shit, where do I go? Yeah, that EMF ah! son of a bitch ran off somewhere. But don't worry, uh, we'll let you downstairs like we said. Follow me. Okay, I gotta follow this guy. Name it all the Godzilla enemies. All, all the uh, uh, kaiju enemies of Godzilla. Oh, gamer! Oh, that's a bad movie. I've seen clips from that. Not good. All right, here it is. And holy crap! Oh, I forgot you. I gotta switch sure over to uh, New Nukem. My stream, Duke Nukem, forever. There we go. Gotta make sure it's accurate. Thank you, sir. Oh, good. Trade is over, See, that was easy. I haven't lost a step. Just had a few mulligans is all. Original, I'll do the original Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1 and Annihilation. Starship Troopers. I've never seen the sequels. I've only seen the first one. The whole film is just about fascism. <laughs> and neo-Nazis. the web series oh his legs gone that guy will hurt me ah, ah, ah! it hurts me it does indeed do that chat uh, ah I'm killing all those things ah, look at that there you go. Very good. There are secrets up here or something? Oh, it looks like there's some secrets up here, chat. Maybe. Nope, there's not. Never mind. I don't know why that exists. My mistake. Ah, oh, this is a fucking puzzle. Yep, looks like we got a puzzle here. I hate Valve puzzles. God damn it, me too, Duke! do it is it all good now can we can we use the steam Let's see if we can use the steam chat no that uh that, uh, that did not work oh this is fun oh great playing Metal Gear and Vengeance. I was peeved chat playing that game. You know it. You saw it. Uh, I don't know if this is what I need to do. I let me just... Ah, fuck. I hate this. Alright, chat, we're gonna figure this out. You like Steam Puzzle gameplay, chat? Are you loving this? I hope you're loving this. There we go. Maybe this will do it. Yay! It did it! Woo! I'm the Steam Puzzle Master, chat! I know what I'm doing. I'm smart. Oh, yeah, shut that off. I'm not dumb. Think everyone says. Has the original Duke Nukem's aged okay? I never, I don't know. I never played him. I am not the person to ask. Uh, 
Railgun, huh? I don't know, let's think of what I have. I like what I'm rocking, chat. You got baddies? We got the baddies! Oh, he's fucking dead. I see. I hate that I can't aim down sights. It's fucking archaic! Shit! Shit! Oh my god! I died again. Wow! A little aggressive. Didn't expect this, chat. Dying so many times now. It's too hard. Gaming overwhelmed by enemies. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this stream to complete this entire game tonight. We're gonna do it. No, I'll get to the DLC, but I'll definitely finish this game, the main campaign, at the very least. Do you have any mines? Nope. How many mines, Speedy? I think I'm I think I'm I'm chock out of mines. Obviously a chock full. We'll get him. I guess I could use this, uh, hold on. Let me actually, um, I'll use the railgun. Got a sniper option on huh? it. This is working out, chat. Just taking our. Ah! Taking our sweet time is all. Slow and goddamn steady. There we go. How many pork chops I can make out of that you? did it. That fucking did it, baby. We got him now. Oh shit. Oh no! Knocked him out of the goddamn sky. Guys, a rocket launcher. <laughs> Got him. Oh yeah. Woo! If it bleeds, Shit. I can kill it. There we go. What's this? What's the weapon is that? Oh, it's an explosive weapon. Uh, yeah, let's look at what I have. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well here, chat. This is good. Go right up into that pig pit right there, Chad. That'll harp into that pig man. Does not smell good. Early, uh, you know of Night Sail the Public. I was kind of hoping that Revan would get a whole trilogy for himself, like Commander Shepard. Me too. That's what I originally wanted. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the second game. Um, yeah. But uh, Lucasfilm gave it to a different developer. And then by the way, they gave it to Obsidian. They even they they rushed that. But the rumors are right now uh, that EA wants to do, they want to publish another KOTOR, but it'll combine elements from the first and second game, narrative elements. So I'm interested to see what that might be. But that's one of my favorite games of all time. I always tell the chat, once I hit partner someday, that will be um, one of the first games I play. That'll probably be the first game I play, and then also the Mass Effect Trilogy. Oh shit! Oh god! I'm fine. I'm okay. Just taking a breather, chat. Covering my ego. I got a bruised ego. It's bruised, chat. I'll go the beer! I'll drink a beer. Let's fucking do it. I'll grab this other beer, chat. Use all the upgrades at my fucking disposal. I see you, you bastard! Are you dead? You're out there. Ah! Can't see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be little. Oh, I'm gonna be little Duke. Oh no, I'm little Duke. Oh, there's rats. Take that. Got him. Ah! They're trying to eat me. Oh, that man's head is gone. I mean, it's well, technically it's not gone. It's here, but. His body's actually is the thing that's gone. Oh, use. Righty tidy, lefty Lucy, chat. Not my idea of a good screw. This dialogue. <laughs> what genre would you like it to be besides an RPG? And what for Kotor? Uh, I mean, action adventure. You know, third person action adventure, much like the original one. 
for the first one. I mean, they could. I mean, uh, I mean, ah! They could um, delve a little bit into larger interactive section. It's basically like a disease um, that turns you into like a werewolf, salamander type creature. It's pretty fun to deal with that, like the first uh, part of the game. Chat. Speedy Man Chris is creepy dog makes it funnier. I mean it, it makes my reactions funnier, I think that's what it does. We can all shake our heads in disappointment, chat. Hit me. Would they make the Kocha remake more like Jedi Fallen Order? I bet they will. In terms of the combat. Because I don't they're not gonna do the turn based combat if they do a remake. Um, they're gonna, you know, they'll probably do what, <laughs> what, uh, Square Enix has done with Final Fantasy VII, where they, that, that turn-based combat is gone. It's gonna just be, it's gonna be an action RPG. They'll probably do the same for, uh, KOTOR, which I will, I won't mind, I won't mind, as long as they give me a plethora of force powers to use. So I want the fucking lightning, force heal, all that stuff. Have, help, help, like, the, the, the basic elements from that game, but you want to use them in, like, in a different way in terms of combat, I'm all for it. That doesn't bother me. For that particular thing, then I'd be okay with it. Uh, okay. Woo! Nailed it. That looks dangerous. I don't, uh, do I, can I shoot this? Yay! I did it, Jeff. Can I get through, please? There we go. Ah! I'm fine. Oh, oh, it's hot! I'm burning up in here! Oh, God, oh, Chad, I'm burning. Duke's having some issues. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, no! Okay, we got this. We got this, guys. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Platforming guys, it's never great. Jade Empire, I, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Jade Empire. Uh, generally underrated Bioware game. Delved in Eastern mythology, uh, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Good stuff. I'll play that on stream someday. Ooh, this section chat. <laughs> this section. It's so much fun. Here, Netflix leak is uh, a RE show, Resident Evil. I knew they were working on one. I don't know when it's coming out. It's like, it's a, is it live action? Is it based on the first game? Shit! God damn it, shit. Where am I? 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 Come on. Oh, I can't see. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Woo. Oh, no. 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 Duke. 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 Stop. Okay. Nailed it. Right. Was it Sonic Boom that they made? 
What team did that? Oh my god. What team did that one? both of those, what else am I supposed to do? I legitimately do not know. Oh, Chad, this sucks. Chris Ayers, right, I'm gonna head, uh, clock out. Chris Ayers, have a great night, my man. Good talking with you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, Chad. This is not fun. This is not fun! Yeah, we gotta consult the YouTube guides. It's the YouTube guides now. I have to trust in them. I legitimately do not know what to do here. Duke, Nukem, Forever, um, Electricity Puzzle? I don't know. Puzzle guide, okay. Vent, maybe it's, no, it's not the vent puzzle. Well, apparently there's a lot of puzzles in this game. Not a fan of that. Gotta wait till it loads, Chad. It's taking too goddamn long. Son of Chronicles, the Dark Brother for the Tender Yes. Oh, I have no idea. Hmm. I'll see the official description for Resident Evil. Uh, the town of Clearfield. What's MD? What was that one? Long through the shadow of three seemingly unrelated behemoths. The Umbrella Corporation, the Decommissioned Greenwood Asylum, and the Washington, D.C. Uh, oh, Maryland. Maryland. Uh, Casino. You know. uh, today, uh, D.C. Today, 26 years after the discovery of the T-Virus, secrets... Oh, wow! It takes place after the games. Held by the three will start to be revealed at the first signs of the outbreak. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So it's like, uh, it's a sequel, all that stuff. Show! Thank you, 100 million! I'm gonna need a refill soon. I'm running low. And this game's fucking frustrating. It's fucking with me, chat. It's messing with me the entire goddamn time, and I don't like it. Ugh. Can we just, just show me the puzzle? Okay, he's near the puzzle I need to complete. Alright, so he got there. He disabled that one. Wait, there's one back? Wait, what? So he got that one. Okay. I'm seeing him dismantle... Wait. Dismantle all the puzzles, chat. Yeah, get 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 past all the pressers. Okay. Uh, that's the one I just knew. I, maybe I missed one in the beginning. That one's gone. Righty. Okay. Oh, I think I missed one. Hold on. Um. What's that? I died instantly. Oh my god, if I have to do that all over again. Please don't make me do all that, that over again. Please, god, game, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my soul! Please! Look into your heart! It's gonna be in the Resident Evil movie universe? I fucking hope not. I don't want that. New, no, thank you. Um. Oh! Oh! No! God damn it! Oh! This is bullshit! Alright, 
Actually, I did it. What? What? Oh, oh, nailed it. Fucking nailed it. See, I see. You gotta do a little more platforming, chat. What I love most about this game, guys, is the platforming. It's, so, it's designed so impeccably. Nothing better than that. People think of Duke Nukem. They think about the platforming. Ugh. Fuck you! Yes. You're hurting this poor man, chat. Eating his arm. It's a bad way to go. Um, oh! Gotta get to the elevator. Nailed it. What the fuck? What the hell? Just what? What? I just, I pressed the button and I died! That's not my fault. That is not my fault. That's some bullshit. I need another fucking drink. That's some bullshit, chat. That's what that was. That was some goddamn bullshit right there. Where am I? Okay, at least I'm right here. Where the fuck that guy come from? I pressed the button! Is he in the thing? Is he right here? He was hiding the vents or whatever. What the fuck was that about? Hold on, chat. I'm gonna press the button and move. All right, I press the button. Let's fucking move. Oh, he, he got from the vent, you little asshole. Guys, please, we, we talked about that. Thank you for the 100 Biddies show. Really, yeah, that was very kind of you. If you guys have not seen Netflix's Castlevania, do yourself a favor and check that out right now. It's just 12 episodes. Season 1 is 4. Uh, season uh, 2 is 8. It is, I, I stand by this, it, it is the best video game adaptation of all time. Love it. Absolutely adore it. You only have to be a fan of Castlevania to like it. They do such a good, good job of telling the story, introducing the characters, and some beautiful animation. Just fucking brutal. Bloody and gory, but gorgeous at the same time. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you're liking it, show. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, I got crawled by a little bug brain guy. I kill I killed him right back though, chat. Do you, remember, do you remember when Martin explained why he hates Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2? Uh I know that one issue I had with it was Doc Ock, the reason why he became evil, which I actually share that same opinion with him. I, I don't like the reason Doc Ock becomes evil in that film. 
I so I, I agree with Martin that way, but I still think it's a better movie than like I'm, I mean, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the. Uh, ah! Shit me! Ah! I died. You, you. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, but Spider-Man Two is definitely the best of, of all. Whew! <laughs> it's eighty percent off. Three fifty-one. I still wouldn't pay that much for it. I paid. <laughs> well, I did pay for it. I paid twenty dollars for this game. So your donations are going to a good cause, Chad. I'm playing bullshit like this. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta fight the brains again! <sighs> Alright. Oh. I know I even had bombs. I had booms, chat. The Dark Knight trilogy is my favorite. Um my favorite like what? Super superhero trilogy? I mean, I, I, I love, I mean, in terms of Batman films, Batman Begins and, and The Dark Knight, I'd probably put in my top 10 super films of all time. I, I love those. I love those two movies. I'm not a big fan of Rises. Um, but Dark Knight. Dark Knight might be my second, I don't, I don't know. It's either my first or second favorite superhero film ever. Love those. But if I had to pick, like, I don't know. That's, that's a good question. What's one of my favorite superhero trilogy? I don't think I can answer that. Because the one I think of is like, oh, Captain America, but then I'm not the biggest fan of the first Avenger. Love Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is my favorite MCU movie, and I love Civil War. It's probably my third favorite MCU film. But, um, but no, The Dark Knight then begins. I, I adore. Adore him, chat. Ah! Some bitch is gonna come out of here and try to kill me. No, Avengers. Oh, no, 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 no. I love the Avengers. Um, uh, no, I, I, especially, uh, like, I like the first Avengers. I think it's good. I think it's a good setup film. There's a lot of great moments. Uh, it's, you know, it's a full price movie. Low full price movie. Age of Ultron, I'm not the biggest fan of, but Endgame, fucking Infinity War and Endgame, love those. I just think the Russos are just better filmmakers than Joss Whedon. You know, and that first Avengers was such a huge achievement, but there were some issues with it. But overall, it's a very fun film, but. Infinity War and Endgame, wonderful. I mean, Endgame's my my second favorite movie of 2019. That's like one of the best theater experiences I've ever had in my life. It's like up there with uh, the, the the Dark Knight. Absolutely adored it. Uh, generally, but like Ultron's the one that's like, ah, just not, I'm not a fan of that of Ultron. It's too bad because I love the character. John Early, Captain America, the First Avenger, was a better Indiana Jones than the film, film The Crystal Skull. I'll agree with you there. No, no, no question. No, no, no question. No question. I'll, I'll give, yeah, I'll give the movie that. My issue with, um, uh, with First Avenger is, I, Joe Johnston, I'm not a big fan of Joe Johnston. I think he really struggles when it comes to filming action, and he's very re reliant on CGI. The Russo's, uh, they use CGI, but they, they can handle it better. I just didn't like, uh, like, a lot of the action scenes in the First Avenger. They were just very sloppy to me, you know. Uh, they, 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 like they did the, like the montages of acting, or excuse me, of action scenes. And I'm just like, ah, that's not what I want to see. But what I love most about the the first Avenger was Chris Evans as Captain America. They did a great job introducing him to the the MCU and his relationship with Peggy Carter and I, Tommy Tommy uh, Lee Jones did a great job. Uh, um, God, who's the guy that plays uh, Zola in the film? Toby Jones does a great job, and so does uh, Sebastian Stan as Bucky. All that was great. Like, my biggest issue of that movie was just the action. I didn't like any of the action in that film. And uh, it also felt very, it felt very, like, sound stagey. you know? I never, I never, never felt like we were actually in New York or, you know, in Europe or anything like that. It all felt like, all this is taking place on the sound stage. Um, it had like a kind of a Tim Burton vibe to it, which I was not a big fan of. Like in terms of like superhero, like Batman, where it's like this is an actual city, everything's just on a soundstage. And I didn't like Hugo Weaving as Red Skull. Yeah. 
They're not cin they're not cinema speedy. That's true. I mean, that's what I've been told. They are indeed not cinema. Fuck you, pig man. Ah! This son of a bitch out. Woo! Oh, Joker's like a super villain movie. It's a, it's a comic book film. Ah! Ah, I see. A little bit of a weight puzzle here, chat. I gotta climb up there? What am I doing here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. Okay, chat. Sorry. I got you. I got you. Well, that's a good question for the chat right now. What What is your, what is your guys, or some, maybe you can't pick one, what are some of your favorite superhero or comic book movies? You know, I talked about some of my favorites right now. I'm kind of curious to hear what, what you guys think. Generally, The Rocketeer was directed by Joe Johnson. Yep, that's true. He was. I'm not a big fan of The, the Rocketeer. I'm sorry. Not, I just don't like his style. Uh, Jim, the coolest thing uh, Squishy has to a superhero movie is The Last Invasion of Christ. Yeah, man. Jesus is the original uh, superhero. <laughs> it's true. He's got a whole bunch of superpowers. Raising the dead, fucking turning, uh, you know, water in the wine, makes a lot of fish. Some solid powers, man. Deadpool 1. Deadpool is great. That's a great uh, send up of the entire genre, man. That movie, you need a movie like that to make fun of the genre itself. I love the first Deadpool. That might be one of my favorites. That, that's a very, that's a high, high full price. Like, border on it better than sex in terms of the uh, DT scale, that double toasted scale. High full price. Viva Vendetta. A lot of people like Viva Vendetta. I think you know the beverage chat. Yeah, as soon as this fucking thing was, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another one for me. This one's for me, chat. Oh. What we got? Let's see continue. Will do. Sir. Alright, guys. I'm gonna let the elevator load. I'm gonna go get another beverage. I'll be back in a minute or two. Entertain yourselves amongst yourselves. I'm back, baby. I'm back, Chad. Here we fucking go. Do people still like Black Panther now? I like Black Panther. I'm a fan of that movie. I like it a lot. My only issues with Black Panther, honestly, is uh, I just I just don't think um, Ryan Coogler is very good at filming action. Um, there wasn't really a big action moment in that film that I particularly liked. But in terms of the world he introduces, uh, the 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 themes that he's playing around with, the villain uh, in Killmonger, that's, I mean, I'd probably, that Killmonger's probably my second favorite villain in the MCU behind Thanos. He did a good job with that. He just, he just, he's always struggled with action. Even Creed, I never liked any of the, <clears throat> the um, fight scenes and boxing matches in the Creed films. Or, well, I shouldn't say Creed films, because he only did the first one. But, um, but yeah, but no, I, I, I'm a big fan of Black Panther. 
Yeah. Uh, you're right. He, he he did do he did do that. Good point. He did do that one uh that one um cut <clears throat> long cut um long shot for that that particular box scene in the beginning. That's the best fight scene in the entire movie. I give you that one. That's true. That is true. No question about that. Alright, what are we doing? Where are we going? Alright, here we go, chat. We're back. See, yeah, the CGI wasn't great. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's weird, man. Like, I, you know, like, there's some CGI that's great in the Marvel movies, and sometimes it's not. Like, the Captain America films, well, well the, the, the last two, Winter Soldier and um, Civil War, CGI was used extremely well, I thought. It's weird. It's weird. What else you guys are saying? Crimson. Oh, good welcome to the stream. Crimson just saw you there. Kick-ass one. Yeah, Logan, Speedy. Yep, Logan is great. Show, Winter Soldier. Yeah, Summer Baby, uh, Logan, Winter Soldier. A lot of consistency here. John Early. Sorry, I missed this, guys. Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, Winter Soldier, Civil War, X-Men First Class, Days Future Past, Logan, The Wolverine, and Endgame. A lot of X-Men. Like that, you got, you like that Logan. That James Howlett. You want to be very specific. Hmm. I was Doctor Strange. Yeah, man. Dread! Crimson. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, Dread is such an underrated comic book film. Do yourself a favor, guys, and check out fucking Dread. Matter of fact, we talked about that uh, recently on 8-Bit Crumbs. A.D. Shankar, who, produced, uh, who produces Castlevania, also produced Dread. That movie came out. I've never seen that in theater. I was, it, was, it was me and two other people in the theater. Check. Because the movie bombed when it came out. Like, no one saw it. Which, you know, to be fair, I mean, Dread's not a well-known property. The only, the only, um, when people think of Dread, the only thing they're thinking about is this, the terrible Sasha Stallone movie. Ooh, Judge Joe would be an excellent scene by scene, by scene, by scene breakdown the future chat. That's, that's their point of reference. But that movie was great. Yeah. Yeah, I own, I own that film. That's one I watch at least a couple times a year because it's just so much fun. <sighs> Right there. Oh, I can get big! I'm big! I'm like Tom Hanks, chat! I can do chopsticks on the piano now. Let's do chopsticks. Right? Nick Luzzy! Welcome to the stream, man! How you doing tonight? Hope you're having a very nice Friday Thank evening. Thank you for the 100 biddies. You guys have been awesome. And so much fun. <laughs> does, uh, does, does Demolition Man count in terms of superhero film? That's more of a sci-fi action movie. Uh, do I like it? I like it because it's so goofy. <laughs> I, don't think it's a very, I don't think it's a very good movie, but it's it has a lot of unintentionally funny moments in it. And it's like sponsored by fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> Wesley Snipes is if you guys ever seen Demolition Man just look up Demolition Man Wesley Snipes I'll tell you everything you need to know about that fucking film Spider-Man Homecoming yeah it's my favorite Spider-Man movie love Homecoming yeah just my favorite Spider-Man films of all time I probably um it'd be Spider-Man Homecoming number one uh Spider-Man in, uh, Into the Spider-Verse is number two and then Spider-Man Far From Home at number three those are kind of like those are my three the rest can go up <laughs> Nicholas, the old Duke games are still a lot of fun to me. I've never played them. You know? Or maybe, maybe I played one of the older ones back in the day. Maybe Duke 3D. But it's been so long. I can't remember anything about it. Like, this was years ago. I was very, very young. Uh, but other than that, no, no experience with it. It is relevant. You're not, you're not wrong, Duma. It is kind of relevant. Got that politi political commentary. Huh? There are a lot of loud noises out here. What's that? I gotta wear my hard hat. John Early, Spider-Man Homecoming, Endgame, and Far From Oh, it's a, or it's a red portal this time, Chad. They switched from the blue portal to a red portal. I appreciate the change. Spider-Man Homecoming, Endgame, and Far From Home would probably be a great triple beat. It would be, yeah, man. Oh, that was dangerous. Ha! Ha! Hey 
got me. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy is great. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy was interesting because uh, when I first saw the like just before like, like that that was the one that Marvel's like okay we're gonna take a risk now. We've done a, we've done a lot of our like main heroes you know like the big ones sure, but let's go ahead and take a risk Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, people are probably like no like modern like majority of audiences are not familiar with them whatsoever. They haven't even heard of them. It was a huge success, and that's that was the the, the point when Marvel's like okay now we can get weird. Which is great. I'm over here again? Ah, oh, fuck me. I'm- wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, now I don't have to do the whole thing, do I? I hope not. Alright, got a little scared there. I got a little concerned, chap. Hey, well, did you give him the time to kill before the place? It was pretty fun. It was one of the ones that was third person. Oh, really? Oh, I thought they were all in first person. Oh no, I know, I know that there were some that were uh, uh, 2D. There's some 2D Duke Nukem games, but I thought after they made the 2D, to just first person after that. That's interesting. Hmm. Have I seen Suicide uh, Squad? Help me! Yes, I've seen both of the animated Suicide Squad movies. Love them both. I saw it on Arkham, which is great. And Hell to Pay, well, a lot of people have been sleeping on Hell to Pay. That's like a, that's a sneaky sequel to another uh, DC animated film. And I was like, wow, this is cool. I want to spoil for people who might be familiar with the animated like, films, but it's pretty fun. But yeah, I'm good. I'm good. My dad loved to play Duke Nukem, so I always had a copy. That was nice, man. Very cool. Alright, chat, so I'm not gonna like this section all. Drink with me, chat, drink with me. I love Shazam. I think Shazam's, and the more I've seen that movie, I own Shazam because I like it so much. I gave it a high matinee, and I stand by that rating. I think I'd still give it a high matinee. But it's a, ow. But it's a very enjoyable film. The suicide, suicide Squad and the Suicide Squad. It's like Final Destination and the Final, that that the man. That's getting some fucking importance. I'll tell you this, guy. Suicide Squad. Like I I've, I've seen that movie once. I uh, when I went to a critic screening back in the day when I was doing reviews of One of Us .net, and that was that was that's a fucking terrible movie. So I haven't seen it in what four years. Wow, I haven't seen the movie in four years. And there's some stuff I can't remember very well. I'm gonna have to watch that tonight! You're doing this to me! Ah! Show, thank you, 100 biddies! So generous tonight. Feels like you're, uh, you're in your safe zone, Duke. Don't fade you. No. Eh, I, I'm, I'm improving while I'm playing the game at the very least. I'm doing a little bit better. <laughs> Oh! We got brains! I'm gonna die. I died. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, chat. Speedy, I like the Teen Titans DC I made movies. I, I like... I like a lot about them. But... I fucking hate Dean anyway. I can't stand them. I've never liked the character. Um, he's just such a little shit. I understand why he's a little shit. It's because he was raised by assassins his entire life. Ra's al Ghul. But, ah, man. Bruce already has sons. They're Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, and Tim Drake. Those are his sons. And I never saw the point of giving him... Not a fourth one, a biological son. It didn't matter. You know? I'll throw Terry McGinnis into there too. Maybe he was biological as well. If you saw the animated series. I just don't like that character. Such a little shit. Yeah, man, the crates, they hit me, and that's it. Batman Year One, the Dark Knight Returns, animated films are okay. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Yeah, I, I, like, Dark Knight Returns is it's fine. 
you know, the the, the, the animated films. Honestly, like the, the last, the, the truly last great adaptation that they did. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying adaptation in terms of, like, based on a storyline. Not like some of the other ones. Like, Hell to Pay is not based on, like, Suicide Squad Hell to Pay is not based on a specific Suicide Squad story. That one's just good, because it was kind of very, it was very original. But, uh, the last good one was that, that was an adaptation to me, like, truly great, was Under the Red Hood. Matter of fact, it was better than the comic. I love that. that that's that adaptation. It's, it's my second favorite DC animated movie of all time, right behind uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. I see. Got him, Chip. Oh, you're gonna kill? You're gonna hit, try to hit me? Fuck you. Yeah, now you're fucking dead. The 90s Captain America movie on my list. Why, Duma? Why? Why would you do that to me? I'm adding it right now. 90s Captain America. I've seen clips from that film. Oof. Is that on YouTube? How can I even find that movie? I think that Kevin Feige was like, this never happened. He scrubbed the internet of that film. I assume it's free on YouTube, right? It has to be. I, I, I have to pay for that bullshit. I'm gonna be upset. I'll be quite peeved, chat. Quite peeved. Oh, that guy's a Gatling gun. Looks like Lady Woo! Luck just gave you the finger. Oh, we got brains. Mr. Yasman. Oh, there's holy shit. The nice Captain America movie has a collector's edition Blu ray. Oh, that means it's not on YouTube. Is it on YouTube? I like Justice League Dark. I like that speaking Oh my god. It's got me. It's got me. Oh shit. Oh, you, you, he's dead. I couldn't save him, chat. He died. He died real good. Sorry. Oh, no, transitioning over. All right, let's go. The Fork Stop Part 2. Let's do it. Let me see if the 90s Captain America movie is on the um the YouTube's chat. What, what year did that movie come out in? Captain America. They also did a 70s one, too. 1990. It was, it was actually it was with the son of, um... God, the author of Catching the Rye. I forgot the guy's name. Salinger? Yep, chat's up for free. Woo! So if ever do that in the future, chat, I can watch it for free on YouTube. That's good. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. I was concerned. <laughs> I like I paid money to watch Godzilla. But watching Captain America, the 1990s version, I'd be like, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking find some other way where I can watch this thing. <laughs> oh 
now. Am I literally using a forklift? Oh, hell. Here we fucking go. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, fun times. Love the vehicle sections. Break, take a little momentary break, chat. Give me a second here. There we go. Ego is recovered. Let's continue on. Trying to kill him with a forklift. Huzzah! He did that. He did. He tried. Uh, it's very dark in here. Ah, uh, I can't get through. God damn it. Alright, um. Tell me to get an RPG, Chimmy. I should rock an RPG. I don't know. Flashpoint's great. No, no. Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. That's an awesome animated film. That's a good one. That came after. That did come after Under the Red Hood. That's a, yeah, that, that's a legitimately good one. Yeah, that's even that's even better than the comic book as well. I wasn't a fan of Justice League War. I just didn't like that. No. Darth Skywalker. Good to see you, Darth Skywalker. What a horrible end to such a historic franchise. R.I.P. Duke. Yeah, man. It's pretty rough. It's pretty bad. It's probably been the worst game I've played so far. Of my month of bad video game streams. It's just so goddamn arcade. Oh, show! Another 100 biddies! Thank you! Cheers, cheers, show. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. You're shaking the pillars of heaven right now. Absolutely. Let's get some Mr. Evan Yates and hypes in the in the chat for show. And very generous today, my man. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's all for you. All right, where am I going? I'm going back in this goddamn corner. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. That's what I like to see, chat. That's support. This is a puzzle. Please don't be hmm. Convenient. Use the hollow duty. Oh. I just wasted it. I just wasted it. That's Hello. good. Give me all your aggro. I'm glad I just right wasted all of this, chat. That's good. Perfect. Nice. Worse than Sonic, yeah. This, this so far, this is worse than Sonic Forces. Yep. Pretty bad. I was wasting the ability about realizing. I thought it said use that to do whatever thing I needed to do. It's like, oh, no, I just wasted an ability. Great! Perfect! That's what I wanted to do! Okay, so what's the what's the plan here, Sam? do anything i don't i don't i legitimately do not know okay well it's not that way all right fair enough is it is there anything over here is this door over here right okay, okay this is different hey, here we go chat Make, yeah making some yeah oh there's piggies there's piggies here now not a fan of that but we're gonna get them they're gonna get god hard Sonic Force 
is a better game than Duke Nukem Forever. No question about that. I'm more fun playing that than this. This is a nightmare. that shotgun from all, all the way over there. That's good. Keep doing that. And now you're dead too. Nine. Ooh, shit. I'm getting surprised. Getting shot my booty butts. Try to use those pipe bombs on me. We good? Can we take a break? Oh, no. We're up there too. Whoa! Speedy G, thank you! For the 100 bitties, Ashley Slashy's happy about it. Ruby Bruce appreciates it, my man. Thank you so much. Yeah, piece of cake. I've died quite a few times. I'll admit that. It's, it, it's just so uninspired. It took over 14 years to make. This was the best thing. Oh! This is the best they could come up with. Oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> General Zordy! Thank you. Whoa! Mom, you making a fucking entrance with the 2,750 donation. We gotta do another. Gotta do another poll. We gotta do another poll, chat. <laughs> the general arriving to the front lines is some much needed bitch to get you through the horrible game. Thank you, general. You served us well. You served me well. Thank. Here's to you, my friend. We gotta do another poll, chat. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoo! <laughs> oh, Paradox, holy moly! That was my holy moly moment. No, General Sorty, thank you so much for your support, man. That was, I've said this so often, but I, I mean, absolutely, for, that, that is very generous of you. Thank you. Here's to you again. We're getting hype! We're on a hype train! You started a hype train, chat! Drink a little star. Uh, ah! Show! With the 400 bitty donation. Thank you so much! 97% hype chat. Oh, it went past level... Level 1. Gonna be in level 3 in a hot second. General Story, thank you so much. Uh, General Story, a salute to all, for all your service to the Lord, Reverend. Yes. Yes. Oh, chat, we're getting hype show! There are bitty... Chat, we gotta start dancing. I gotta start dancing, but that's what we that's what we gotta start doing. It has to be done. Thank you, show with 300 bitty donation. Woo chat. Let's play my theme song. Here we go. Mm. We're fighting chat. Woo! 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 Dance me, chat! Like Tobey Maguire, chat like Tobey Maguire. Chats coming up right here. Say with me now. Arigato. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys for getting so hype with me. Appreciate it. Thank you for your donations. I'm like, <laughs> after that one. Oh my god. No, thank you, show. 
Thank you, John Early. General Sorty, thank you so much. Oh. Paradox, Iron Laser, Ryan Walterson. This is the goddamn party train. <laughs> You're tuning in for it. We're already past the station, man. Try to catch up. Don't get stuck under the goddamn tracks under the wheels. Don't want that to happen to you. Thieve man, thank you. Devin the Great, thank you. Me Pants McGee. <laughs> We're getting hype. Oh, Mike, MJ McCallister, good to see you, man. He just got back from a movie. Saw Come to Daddy starring Elijah Wood. Crazy fucking movie. Was it, was it a good movie? Is that a good crazy fucking movie? Mmm. <laughs> Welcome to Herman After Dark. Yeah, man. It's been a hell of a stream, guys. Reviewing, doing a spoiler review of Godzilla 1998, the the, the, the Roland Emmerich classic, and uh, reading erotic Sonic fan fiction, and playing Duke Nukem Forever. It's a lot of stuff. Dancing. <laughs> Thank you guys for the support. Seriously. Whoo! And then tomorrow, got to do a spoiler review for Suicide Squad. That fucking piece of shit. I'm saying it now, Chad. I've only seen that movie once, but oof. It was a, it was a hard watch at the time. Seen it in the theater. Uh, I have to pay money to see that again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but because of your generosity, I can afford it. So thank you. <laughs> oh, I, We got to do a voting. After this level, chat, we got to do another voting for the next bad movie. That'll be for Wednesday. We're, at this point, chat, we're already at Wednesday because of your generosity. Because tomorrow I got Suicide Squad. Monday, that one's for free. I'm doing Birds of Prey. That's going to be a spoiler-filled uh, review for Birds of Prey. Uh, Tuesday is going to be Scooby-Doo. <laughs> 2002 Scooby-Doo. And then Wednesday will be something else. I got I to gotta think about it. Give me some, we'll, we'll, we'll go into suggestions after I complete this level. How about that? I'm pre I, <laughs> You like Thanos? I hope they remember you. <laughs> I'll pray for you. Thank you, Devin. Um... I got like a lot. I got a lot of. Oh Jesus, am I at two hundred percent at this point? Oh my God, <laughs> am I already at Friday at this point? I might have to do two polls. I might. Oh my. <laughs> I need. I need. Let me complete this level first, and we'll get into it. Let me do this first, <laughs> and then we'll, we'll think about where I need to do, where I need to be. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh my God. I gotta, let, me, let me get my ego back. You're inflating my ego right now, chat. Splatter. Oh. I'll add to the list. I'll definitely add to the list. Got him! Oh my god, this guy won't fucking die. Just die already, you son of a bitch. You and your stupid RPG. Ah! Ah! Oh no! I'm gonna die. I fucking died! You gotta be kidding me! Thank you, Chad. Thank you for getting hype with me. I really appreciate level two hype. Here's to you. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. You literally shook the pillars of heaven with your hype. Thank you so much. There we I gotta do two pulls now. I gotta do two pulls. <laughs> one one for one for Wednesday, another one for Friday. <laughs> oh god. Oh. We should watch Emily Jones' film Man of the House. I never, I never heard of that one. Man of the House. Oh my God! Here we go. All this garbage. We gotta be watching and playing, reviewing. I do it for you, Chad. It's fun. You make it fun. There we go. Come after me, you son of a bitch! Squeal, piggy. Squeak, squeak, squeak! Squeak! Ah, oh, booms! He's throwing the booms! Ow! Alright, a little aggressive there. Come on, let's take it easy. They're trying their best to get me with the pipe bombs, chef. They're trying their darndest. Maybe they'll blow, maybe they'll blow themselves up. Got him there. I am running out of bullets, though. I'm not a fan of that. Can I take that, please? Woo! Get a little fucked up, Chet. Not gonna lie. 
stay still. Come on, Chad, shoot him from afar. Oh boy. Joe's is a marshal who has to protect a group of cheerleaders. Oh, I saw this trailer years ago! I saw the... I, I didn't see the movie, but I saw the trailer. It looked fucking terrible. It looked horrendous. I'm trying to shoot him! It's hard! Oh, I missed! Got him! I gotta play it safe now, chat. I'm not I'm not a good... Oh, there's there. I'm not a good dupe nuker. Done in the days of play by play review. Oh, I can do that scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown. Yeah, I can do some Bond films. I can do uh, a die of the day. I can also do fucking Moonraker. Oh, the Bond. Oh, good and bad Bond films, guys. Absolutely. What the hell are you? Uh. Ooh, chat. But Die of the Day is an excellent su suggestion, John. It's really, really... No question about it. Be fun. Oh, shit. Shit! Oh! Oh! What the fuck?! I didn't know I could... Oh, my God! <sighs> Spectre? Spectre's gonna be a hard watch, man. That's boring. I'm not a Spectre fan. <sighs> Yeah, it has a lock on targeting system, the uh, the rocket launcher. Dear McAllister, uh, were you on the review of Fanatic? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I was there when they did the review, but I didn't see the film. I'm a big Limp Biscuit fan. Oh, hell yeah, man. Skyfall? If I want to do a good movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, at least, guys, I'm going to start incorporating good movies. That's what I did for my, my most recent poll. I had two movies which I absolutely loved, The Original Evil Dead and Big... Uh, or, no, The Original Evil Dead and uh, what was the other one? The Terminator. I had the Terminator on there, too. So I'll probably throw in when I do the two new pulls after I fucking complete this level. If I can. This is a fucking pain in my ass. I'll, uh, I'll throw up some good movies along with some bad movies. Be a good time. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll have some pity on me. Dark the Dark Nugget. I don't know what sort of Batman begins, though. I want to go in order. Who's next? That did. Oh! Ugh. These fuckers coming to, to come to me, guys. One pigs are gonna come bursting on through here, Chad. Those are the guys that keep fucking killing me over and over and over again. We're gonna get them though. We're gonna put in that. We're gonna put a stop to their goddamn piggish antics. It's not gonna end well for them, Chad. How they not blowing themselves? Up? What the hell is that not happening? Are you not dead yet? Thank you. 
Got that one. So what these got for these guys is to start pouring out, Chad. It's taking all my concentration. What we got going on here? Oh, I see. oh damn it! You! Uh, may I can do the Matrix. Matrix would be good. Uh, generally, Terminator One and Two back to back. That'd be kind of fun to do. Hmm. Mike, here's an idea. Since I know you're not a music guy, I'm not. You should watch band documentaries, not a concept film. Stuff like Metallica, some kind of monster, Rush, Beyond. I don't know if that'd be good for review, scene by scene by scene breakdowns. Though. I mean, for just to check them out, sure. For my own, on my own time, not for, uh, not for the stream. God damn it, stay still! Fuck. That's the fucker that kept killing me over and over again. Fuck you. Now you're dead. Now we gotta do about it. Killing all your friends now. Killing your entire pig family. Squeal harder next time. Oh my god, just die already! Holy shit, no! No! Die, you pig bastards! Chad almost died again. I would've been so fucking upset. Battle Los Angeles? Oof, that's a bad one. Am I playing, I'm playing Jim Eternal? Oh, absolutely, man, no. Some of my, my, I mean, yeah, just for, I mean, for the month of February, I'm pretty much playing bad games, but when March hits, Jim Eternal's come out in March, that is a uh, day one stream. As soon as that, the day that comes out, stream. You're gonna get it. See it here first, Chad, Jim Eternal. Then later on, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm most of it anticipated games so far this year. Doom Eternal, Last of Us Part Two, uh, Cyberpunk uh, 2077, and what's the third? Oh yeah, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Remake, of course. That, yeah, yeah. Doom Eternal, cannot wait for Doom Eternal. Love. Ah! Who wants white meat, huh? Who wants it? Victory! I did, chat. Woo! That was something else. Like How are we doing this? Uh, okay. Do I have to like repair this or something? Or I just got I gotta lower it, chat. Gotta lower the fucking forklift. Tell her to add this game to the bad gameplay list for the oh for Duke Nukem Forever. I'll tell him. He knows about Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, it's terrible, Chad. So can I go up here? Oh! Uh, show thank you for the two hundred biddies. I'm on my third beer, bro! Hey, here's to your third beer and you, friend. Thank you! Mm. They love the fucking forklifts. Absolutely adore them. I can't go that way. Alright, what, what am I doing here? What the fuck am I doing? Do I have to go up here? I feel like I have to go up here. Oh, I see! I see! I had to make myself a little tower. Yes. yes. You guys want some crack? <laughs> that was some crack cocaine. Speedy G, think of the hundred biddies. Waterworld. Oh, Waterworld. Ooh, I, I did not have Waterworld on my list. That is a great suggestion, Speedy. Thank you for the, 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 the excuse me, the, the biddies. There's a track of what it is. There you go. Add to the word doc, guys. Thank you. I love it. Retronimus, thank you for the host. Like as I always say, guys, the host do help. Help spread the word of the Rebelites. Mm. Where are we fucking going, baby? Do it. Mike, here's a movie that's not good, but it's a sequel to my all-time favorites. Battle Royale 2. I never saw the second one. I know it was just, well, I, I knew there was a sequel, but I don't know anything about it. Did you watch it? It's fucking ridiculous for the first half, boring the second. I, I like the, the, the original one. Inspired a whole goddamn uh, <laughs> uh, battle, well, I mean, battle royale type films. American uh, versions and also uh, 
a genre of video game. It was a mode in video games. Who was that? General Sorty, thank you for the host. Well, I can do some of the Star Trek films. Wrath of Khan would be a lot of fun. It's just, that's, I mean, that's a good, that's a good movie. I'm not a big Star Trek guy, but Wrath of Khan's a very good movie, but there's also a lot to make fun of with that movie, too. That'd be a great review. That's your top five easily. Oh. Nice, man. And the generator room chat. Retronimus! Thank you for the 200 biddies! And support tonight has simply been amazing, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying it. This has been so much fun. Playing bad video games, reviewing bad movies, and reading erotic Sonic fan fiction. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna take that pistol. But how you guys doing tonight overall? What, got any weekend plans? Gonna see Birds of Prey? I'm gonna try to check that out, uh, that out either. I mean, I don't know if they have any elite screens at this point. But probably early in the morning. Get a nice breakfast. The theater I go to does breakfast chat. So I'm probably gonna go to like a 10.30 screening. Check that out. Then come back for the stream. That should be a lot of fun. You get some uh, breakfast tacos or something. Some coffee. Some alcohol-infused coffee. Because, you know... Gonna start your morning off with some uh, uh, a nice Irish coffee chat. <laughs> I don't know, that's a great movie, of course. Did you give Rise Skywalker a fuck you? No, I did not, man. You, I did not. That movie, Duke, listen, thank listen. God Almighty. Uh, the the sequel trilogy, I think, started off very well. The Force Awakens. I have some issues with it, I do, but it was a good foundation. Didn't care for the Last Jedi. I like Skywalk Rise Skywalker more than the Last Jedi, but is it a good movie? No. It's not. Those last two films. <sighs> yeah, it was, just, it was just a mess. I talk, we've talked about this on stream so many times. It's just they didn't have a they didn't never had a they never had a guideline, never had a plan in place to what the story was gonna be, and they just fucking shoot from the hip. And it feels that way. Throughout it. And I'll even say this, because even though I'm not a big Last Jedi fan, I, what would have made Rise Skywalker better was like you know, instead of ignoring aspects of The Last Jedi, even stuff I didn't like, make the stuff that didn't work in that film work here. And I think that's probably what they should have done. And they didn't do that. I mean, that's disappointing. And I think a better filmmaker would have tried to do that. But So the way it is, I'll tell you this. Um, I, I'm still looking forward to the future of Star Wars, but not under Kathleen Kennedy's tenure. Uh, I think she should leave. I'm interested in the future of Star Wars on television. But, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, I'm, you know, I'm anxious and I'm a little concerned. Got a lot of problems. I'm right, yeah, yeah, Mike. Love Force Awakens, love Last Jedi. I have to disagree there with you. I agree to disagree. There's not a fan of Rise of Goddamn, I didn't hate it, but it's got... Oh, God, no, it absolutely has a lot of problems. I, I don't disagree with you there. I've read parts of his script. I, re I haven't read... I have to say I've read the script. I, I've seen the fucking breakdown and read it. And, I mean, who knows? I mean, we could say that that's good, but... When we see it actually in front of us, I think it's a little different. I don't know. I don't know. I, li I love the idea of, um, of a First Order occupied Coruscant. Had an Escape uh, from New York kind of vibe to it. And I love Escape from New York. I think that would have been really cool to see. That was the one part I was like, ooh... This right here, that sounds good. But you know. you're here. That's the way the it is, chat, Sally. I, 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 but I am, I am hopeful for the future of Star Wars. I'd buy I'd like this to play play Swag, it has been a minute. Welcome back to the stream, man. Friday. How you doing? But in truth, I think how is your Friday? Oh, look at the general. Is how is your uh, Friday been? He's lost all grasp on reality. That's the bad news. Do I think Abrams lost his touch? I just think he's falling back. Shut off all power to the dam. The portal will close for good. And just EDF kind of hasn't been able to get deep enough past like, I, don't think, I don't think there's anything wrong with fan service, but it's it's the way in which you do it. America you know? is counting on you. I think you. the Russos are extremely America, good at fan service without yeah. even realizing it's fan service because they spent so much time building to it and where it feels earned. Like when Captain America lifts up Thor's hammer, like that that is technically fan service. That's from the comics, but it, it works so well because. It it, it it just feels natural. Like, this, this is the moment we're going to build towards. It's what people want, and it just fucking works. It's a big cheer moment. You know. Where in the opposite way, uh, it's like, I don't mind the idea of Rey 
being related to Palpatine, even his granddaughter, but they didn't, they never built it up properly. And so when you get that fan service, it feels lessened. Ass Pounder! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Ass Pounder! Swag resubscribing on a two month goddamn streak! Welcome! We need an Old Republic show, that's what we need you. We need an Old Republic series of movies. We need the story of Revan. It's been fair, I've been editing videos all day. Hey man, that's cool. Mmm, Jarly Dread and the Raid Redemption were pretty much the same. They were. But people say like Dread copied it. They were actually made at the exact same time. Uh, and like neither knew of the other's <laughs> existence until it happened. Ha! That'd be kind of funny, uh, General Sorty. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if we see those ideas in a future film, though. I I I'll agree with you there. But let's get let's get an old Republic film series. Let's see the story of Robin. Have that play our uh, no, it doesn't have to be a trilogy. It could be it could be four movies, chat. It'd be four movies you want to incorporate stuff from Natural Republic too. I would love that. Oh god. Give it to me. Inject it into my veins. And I want to see Grand Admiral Thrawn live action. I don't know if you can do an adaptation of the Thrawn trilogy, but I want to see that, man. Uh who is uh, someone on Facebook made a post about uh Grandma Thrawn, the actor they would want. And he said, I forgot the person's name, but huge shout, whoever you are, give yourself a shout out. He posted in Children of the Toast. He said he wants Anthony Starr, who plays Homelander from The Boys, to be uh, uh, Grandma Thrawn. I never considered him, but he would be amazing as that character. Hey, it's Monk, A. Eh? Weird, but okay. Well, I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm sorry that you're having a weird day. I'm glad to entertain you. I wasn't a fan of uh, Super 8. The only, the only part of Super 8 I liked was the... I, I know this is not like me being sarcastic. It's actually me being serious. Was the end credit sequence because we actually see them film their movie at the end. Like, the that's what the... I, it felt like the, that's what the movie should have been. It should have been them trying to get their, their fan film made. You know? But I didn't... The whole alien stuff, I just... I didn't like any of that. I didn't like any of that. Those kids were good, though. But the film itself, it's plot. No. Oh. Ah! Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Tiffany Lockhart made partner? Oh my god! Tonight? Wait, is she on stream right now? Hold on, let me check this out. Let me fucking check this out. I'm gonna give her a raid if that is the case. Cause she's been maintaining a great viewership for so long. She's been, always been above like 75. Like at least when I've seen, like always in the 60s, like 75. See that she's an 84. That is amazing. Well, if I finish up and she's still streaming, I'm, we're gonna give her a nice little raid chat. Congratulations, Tiffany Lockhart. She's uh, typically a Resident Evil streamer playing the spooky game. She does a great job. She's raided me in the past, too. Today's her, oh, her first uh, stream as a partner. That is awesome. Gerald Sorty. Would love for the Only Public High Republic trilogy use the Emperor Vitiate character from the KOTOR trailer. Awesome. No, I like Emperor Vitiate. Uh, I, I agree with you. Um, I mean, Revan is connected to him, as we all know. I would... Yeah, I mean, they can play around with it. I still would like, you know, a lot of the same elements from the first game in an Old Republic trilogy. Like, not trilogy, or only public film series, so I want Malak, you know, I want Revan, I want Kraya, all, all of them. But if they want to get the Vichy, want to build towards Vichy yet? I'll be fine with that. Air of the Empire, uh, agreed, Retronimus. I'm a, I'm a Grand Admiral uh, Thrawn fan. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, my, probably my favorite Star Wars villain. If you guys have been read the Thrawn trilogy or checked out the clips of him on Star Wars Rebels, awesome character. He's like an alien, uh, master strategist who joins the Empire to protect his people the Chiss who are hiding out in the unknown regions and uh I mean, he's just a son of a bitch <laughs> but he has I mean it's it's weird like he's I guess yeah, I guess he is evil but he's you understand his point of view why he's doing what he's doing and he's a creation of Timothy Zahn and the Thrawn trilogy like he basically comes back like it's been six years like the original trilogy of like after takes place after the original trilogy like six years Grandma Thrawn comes out of the unknown region and says, like, well, Palpatine Vader are dead. I'm the Emperor now. And he gets all the warlords under his control and just fights a campaign against the New Republic. 
It's great. No, no. And, uh, uh like you know, Christmas. he was typically always a, ah! he was a Legends character like for a while, but then he was brought back in uh, into canon by Dave Filoni. And was uh, featured as one of the main villains in the series. I thought they did a great job. They had uh, Matt, they had Mads Mikkelsen's brother, Lars Mikkelsen, voice him. I always thought he did a good job. Hentai tentacles. That's all we're doing. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey there. You that fancy lad that sent to clean the place up. Fancy uh, lad, chap. Damn them tentacles in here either. Maybe we could have the Thrunchers. Most of the Star Wars Rebels being Ken. Well, I mean, we I'll could get a version of the Thrunchers. The there's, not, there's not. not to say Be that we careful, can't. Though. There's a lot of. There's 30 down, years right? between Return of the Jedi <laughs> and The Force Awakens. <laughs> oh, cryptic anarchy! Thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome to stream. The cult of Revan expands yet again, chat. How you doing tonight, buddy? Mm. That should have been the sequel movies, the Thrawn trilogy. Yep. Yep. I, uh, at this point, I, I agree. I, uh, I agree with you. Hang on tight there, boy. Thank you. Oh, uh, chat's gonna be a se it's gonna be a hell of a section. Here we fucking go. We got some rockets though, so that's fun. Chess, but the former is being renamed to the the Jess? What? Why? Why are they doing that? What's wrong with the Chess? Wait a minute, but then that contradicts what they did in the books, because that because the new books they 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 called them the Chess. In the Thrawn novels, I I have I have the 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 the, the first one. Show, du dude, dude. <laughs> Thank you, the two hundred biddies. Weird, I don't like that. That makes me mad! Thank you, show. Princess Oreos! Alright, it's time for me to go to bed. Have an awesome trip. Princess Oreos, thank you so much. Have a great night, guys. Do yourself a favor. Please check out her content. Ah! The hentai! We're fighting all, we're fighting all the hentai, Shaq. All the... Oh my god! Take it easy. Can I? Can we? Can we relax? Can I? Oh, Holy mother! I died. God damn it! <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I knew I heard you scream hentai, but I thought it was super. Sick. No, I, I screamed hentai. I'm fighting the ultimate hentai. We have to stop its tentacles. We can't let them loose. 
I don't know, who knows what will happen? That's the rumor. That makes me sad. Oh, the you oh the they're, they're naming the use on Bond the Jis. Oh, I understand. So they have the, they have the Chiss and the Jis. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, I I understand what you're saying now. Okay. Yep, there it is. Oh, uh, there's something shaking the crane. No. Come on out, dead. you bastard. Oh, donkey punch you in the blowhole. Yeah, he's got a donkey punch in the blowhole, chap. I'm gonna curve you in the sushi. Ow, I kinda hurt myself there. It's gonna be a boss battle, chat, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one. Uh, give me one of these. Be like goddamn Metal Gear Rising Revenges all over again. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna beat this fucking game. We're gonna do it together. It has to happen. Listen to this fucking dialogue over again. Come on out, you bastard! Now, gotcha. don't keep pushing the blowhole. In the right the blow. I'm gonna curve you into sushi. Hentai, hen we killed the hentai chat. It'll no longer haunt us or hunt for us. Our buttholes are protected forever. Woo! Okay, let's uh. Yeah. I'll stick with this. I'll stick with this setup I got right here. Got some good weapons. Ah! Oh, he's, he's fucking dead, Chet. Took down his brain. Hell, do it. Needs the brain. Sever the head. Destroy the brain. Ah, that guy's dead. <laughs> well. ah! Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Underground. 
destroy an egg puppy before pregnators can hatch. Sounds gross. Mm. Ooh, chat. So I'm sorry, I don't know if I uh, saw this. Has anyone seen Birds of Prey? Gonna keep the lurk strong while I go to see. No problem, no Prince Warriors. I, I appreciate that. You saw me defeat the hentai. That's what matters. No, thank you for the lure. That, that's very, very kind of you. Every, every little bit helps, guys. Whether it be, I mean, a host. Uh, I mean, even just, even just watching. Even just watching. I appreciate that. You're able to donate or whatever. That, that I, I really appreciate. But if you're just here, we're just having a good conversation. Thank you. That's what matters most. Oh. Oh, he got hen See, chat? Hentai. Hentai. Oh, the hentai. Mm. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> what, man? It's hentai! Now, yes, uh, DT review, though, kind of makes... Nah, I mean, you're not interested. I'm not... I've been, um... I checked out the DT review. But I also watched the review that... I, another group of people I actually like kind of funny. They did their own review for Birds of Prey. And they were pretty positive about it. So I'm going to go in there with a with an open mind, chat. Get hentai, bro, man. I'm just about to. I'm just about to, bro. Hmm. Hey, which way am I going here? Oh, I got. I forgot. I got to shoot this. Nailed it. Let me Diego. It's been a while, man. Oh my God. Why the fuck are you playing this? It's my month of bad video game streams. I'm obligated to play uh, play the bad video games. Before this, I did Sonic Forces. Woo, that was a bad game. Well, I'll tell you this, chat. I said it earlier. Sound Force is a better game than Duke Nukem Forever. This is garbage. But no, as, as I said, guys, seriously, just the fact that, you know, whether you're able to, do, you know, donate or, you know, subscribe, I appreciate that. But I just, I really do appreciate to just be able to watch, have a nice conversation. You guys have been fantastic. So thank you again. That's my goal, too. I mean, just, I mean, viewership is pretty much the thing I'm concentrating on as well. Gotta get partners someday. Swag. God damn, I missed Sonic Force. You can watch the VODs. They're up there. They're available. Hello. He's dead. I'm dead. You think I was reminiscing about the film Prisoners, man? Prisoners is great. Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> uh, Paul Dano, Hugh Jackman. No, I, I'm a big fan of Prisoners. Very good movie. Daddy does donuts. Fuck you, donuts. Where am I going? That's all covered in hentai. Oh, I guess I gotta go down here, maybe. Yeah. Aha, chat. Here it is. Ah! Oh. That's unfortunate. Is going to make me cry? Hmm. Last movie to make me cry. Oh! Uh, the Farewell. Which I, uh, I saw a couple weeks ago. Um, that was the film that was on Corey and Martin's, I believe, well, certainly on Corey's best of list for 2019. The whole premise is it stars, um... Oh, God. Fuck. Uh, I forgot her name. Oh, damn. In a good... No, in a good way. In a good way. Oh, shit, chat. The... Ah. She, um... um oh, my God. I, I'm blanking on her name completely. It starts with a Y. She's an Asian actress. Damn it. Aqu oh, no. Not, not Y. Aquafina. I really fucked that up. Aquafina. Where the whole film was about... It's an immigrant family who moved to the United States for 20 however long like 20 years ago they're there and it's about Aquafina um basically in her, you know keeping in contact with her grandmother um the uh the grandmother is diagnosed with cancer but and the family knows this but the grandmother actually does not <laughs> she's the one that doesn't know it and so it's a fucking ruse the family like set up this whole fake wedding reception uh just to go to China and say goodbye to the grandmother but not revealing the fact that she's actually very sick with whatever stage cancer level she's at. 
And it's about Aquafina just feeling like really f fucked up about it. And her interacting with her grandmother and family interacting with her grandmother. But it's it's a, it's a great movie. It's currently available on Amazon uh, Prime right now. That's how I watched it. That's that's like in my top ten. I have, I didn't see it at the time I did my top ten for Double Toasted, but that's a that's a wonderful movie. I I got teary eyed at the end. You'll 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 know when you get teary eyed too. It's you know the the waving goodbye. That's all I'm gonna say. And it was a it was a good it was a good it was a good uh, watery eye moment. Wasn't the Aquafina movie? Yep, that was. In, yeah, I guess it was in both of theirs. This is a great film, guys. Please do yourself a favor and check that shit out. Highly recommend it. It's it's just a great comedic drama. It's about grief and how different people and cultures deal with it, and 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 that and that uh, culture clash too. One ge like generational clashes. How an old generation and a younger generation view certain things. It's a really great film. What am I doing? Hello? Why the Last Man? Are they doing... I didn't know they're... Are they doing a Why the Last Man adaptation? I didn't know they're doing that. That's news to me. I had no idea. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Wild Last Man comics. I don't, I don't particularly care for the ending all that much, but the reason why all the, the play happens, the, the, the exciting incident. But that's a great story of some wonderful characters. Who was, who was the main? I didn't even know who was the main actor. This is all news to me. Logan, yeah, Logan made me teary eyed. Yeah, I, I got, I got water eyed during Logan. I'm just trying to think of like the most recent one. Uh, and it was the, the farewell. And a big emotional impact on me. In terms of just, just sadness. <laughs> uh, where are we going here, folks? It's pretty dark here. Oh, oh, is that a great? No, that's not a great. Ah, it's so bright! Okay, where the fuck am I going? I gotta go over here. Here we go, chap. Barry uh, Keoghan from Dunkirk. Wow. I'm not too familiar with that actor. I saw Dunkirk. Wasn't the biggest fan of it. I mean, Diego still haven't seen The Farewell. Check out The Farewell, guys. Please do. Again, it's just a great drama. Uh, Aquafina's fantastic in it, and the, the grandmother, they call her Nine Nine. She, she, that, a that actress is great. She's Little great shit. comedic timing. It's mostly it's it's in subtitles because they're speaking Mandarin, of the movie. But there's some there's some English in there too. Yeah, it's just it's a wonderful film. It'll make you feel good. It'll make you want to you know make you want to hug your your mother or your grandma. That's what it'll do. He's also coming out in Marvel's Eternals as Druid. Eternals. That's I'm gonna get. What's your opinion on Eternals, guys? Like I'm gonna point like, hey Marvel, want to go in the weird shit? Please do. You know, but like I'm not familiar with Eternals whatsoever. I know nothing about them, and that's gonna be. A, I, mean, I, I kind of fancy myself a guy who knows comics, but that's the one. I'm like, I know nothing about this. So, uh, I mean, you got Kumail Nanjiani getting fucking ripped, well, like a samurai swordsman or whatever. I, I, I'm curious about that though. Okay, I'm giving a chance to you, Devin. That's rats. Leave that man alone. Leave his body alone. You bastards! Cruel, chat. It's fucking cruel. What's this? Hit! What? I only know the Neil Gaiman. I never read it. Charles linked to the Guardians of the Galaxy, I think. Oh, so is that going to be the connection? That'd be fun. Maybe you'll see the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, cameo in it. Again, to kind of keep that connective tissue intact. Makes sense. Iron Lady is about time where we dug deep into the Jack Kirby vault in the MCU. That's what's so fun about it. Like, again, Guardians of the Galaxy was the test case. Like, okay, can we go weird? And they did. And it worked. And it's exciting that they're doing stuff like that. You know, the fact that we're going to be getting... That's why I'm, I'm like, I cannot wait for uh, Shane Chi and, uh, um, you know, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Like, all this weird stuff 
eventually blade oh chad it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna have these discussions on stream cannot wait for it <laughs> Dump toaster reviews, all that content. Yeah, man. Underground part two. We're talking about church has to be absolutely perfect or it's bust. I think it at least it has to be good. It has to be at least entertaining. You know? Tronomus Guardians was a huge risk for Marvel and it paid off. It did. Yeah, I mean people like no one knew no one like let me, I mean, Marvel, like, the, the hardcore of the hardcore, they knew what the Mar who Guardians of the Galaxy was. I had, a, like, an ancillary knowledge of them. I, like, I knew the raccoon talk. There was a tree. I knew nothing about anyone else. But, like, most audiences like, who the fuck are these? But that, that marketing is what sold that film. Those trailers is what did it. The music. This is gonna fuck up my James Gunn was smart to have the big thing, uh, like, a lot of scenes play around the musical numbers. That was smart. <laughs> way to sell it oh the bing bong death oh one of the saddest death of decades hell yeah man they killed that motherfucker <laughs> oh my god bing bong he did oh shit shit no underwater oh great underwater levels nothing better than underwater levels Okay. Can I go up the ladder? No? Okay. Oh my god. I hate! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die! Oh no! Shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Show day! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in here! Holy mother of god! Show, thank you for the 100 biddies, dude. This is too easy for you. <laughs> thank you, show the 100 biddies. But this section? No, this is hard, man. I'm getting my fucking ass kicked here. What the hell? This goes down so fast! Oh, I guess I just gotta get this fucker open. Ah! Give me the bubbles! Yeah, bubbles! Oh, fuck! What the hell hit me?! What?! Charles, I really like the Celestial and Eternals will play a huge role in MCU history. Explain it. Why some people have the abilities and others don't. The X gene pop. Yeah, that'd be a good way to introduce it. My whole theory was that because of the gamma radiation, because of the multiple snaps that happen in such quick successions by Thanos, and, or not, excuse me, not Thanos, by, um... Bruce Banner. Well, it could be Thanos too when he did the original snap, but uh, Thanos, Bruce Banner, and Tony Stark. That that will cause mutations, but that could be it too. Damn it, chap! Got fucking killed by something. I don't even know what the hell it was. Ugh. This. <gasps> oh, this is fun. This is what I want to play. <sighs> Oh, it's spinning blades! Those spinning blades that killed me. That's good. Uh, how do I? What do I do? What am I doing here? Is there an opening for me, or what's the plan? Oh, is can I go above here? No. All right, I'm a little confused. God damn it, I'm confused. Right. Oh, is this new? Maybe I'll maybe this oh, this is new. Oh, shit. 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 Oh fuck me. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm gonna die. Because those fucking little brain motherfuckers popped out of the goddamn nowhere. 
The fan! It was the fan that did it. Oh, chat. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. So I gotta kill those ghoul shits very quickly. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna have them come to me now. I know. Now I know they gotta come to me. How's your reloading uh, gun underwater? Very good question. Very good question. I don't know. Can I explain? Science. Ugh, gotta do this all over again. Fuck. <gasps> breath that quality air wish I had canned air chat just like in space but remember the canned air in space balls that was fun that was a good joke President Scrooge was this guy Scrooge no Scrooge I think it was Scrooge hell Scrooge that's what it was I'm gonna die here <laughs> Jack Kirby creates so many amazing characters and establishes such cool lore. Can I kill them, please? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ow! Can I get those bubbles again, please? Ow. 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 Gotcha. This is... What the fuck is he even hit? Okay. <sighs> yep, this is a fun section. This is great. Too much fucking and drinking. Oh, shit. oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Woo! You guys make it tolerable. You make you 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 improve my spirits. This is gonna fuck. Oh, you got a question for him? What's your question, buddy? I saw the question mark. What is up? I was losing my goddamn mind playing Duke Nukem. How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm st I can't. God, this fucking game. Eternals in the uh, Santos is an eternal in the comics, so I wonder how they will. I meant, oh, wow. Uh, maybe they'll reference him as a former eternal or a eternal. I think kind of cool. I like that. So accurate. Die. Just die! Uh, 
All right, I think I got them all. I think, I think we got them all. I think we're okay. Continue forward. Oh, thank God. Woo! Woo! You did it. Oh, my God. That guy's fucking dead. Hello. Oh, my God. The Speedy Chris does Marvel own Galactus. Yeah, yeah they do. That was previously owned by Fox. They now own Galactus. I'm adamant about getting... Doctor Doom is the next threat, chat. I want Doctor Doom as the main uh, baddie for the whatever the next phase of Marvel's going to be. Because he could be a Thanos level threat, in my opinion. I think that'd be really, really cool. Versus some sort of thing like, yeah, you can build it. Yeah, matter of fact, you have Doctor Doom is kind of like my old pitch was like Doctor Doom. I'm his thing. I'm gonna be the new Iron Man. Tony Stark failed to build a suit of armor around the world. I can do that. He's kind of like a Kim Jun esque uh, uh, type figure. I think it'd be really interesting. Where the hell am I going? Equipment means more ass kicking. Yeah, hopefully. We shall see, good. So maybe I gotta go this I gotta go back to where I was. Okay. No trespassing. Okay, fair enough. Fuck me then. Sure, 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 sure. Sure. Yeah, John Krasinski uh, threw his hat in for Fantastic Reed Richards. Yeah, I want I want John Krasinski and his uh, as Mr. Fantastic and John Krasinski's wife Emily Blunt as the Invisible Woman. That would be perfect, Chad. That's all I want. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Uh, I'm a little confused here. Am I? I don't think I'm dropping. That's where I was before. I don't want to drop down again. Uh, oh, I fucked that up. So where the... Did I... What? What? Did I... What? What is... What is even going on? God, this game fucking sucks. Oh, I guess I was supposed to do that? Am I having a boss battle now, or...? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I guess it's supposed to happen, chat. I don't know what the purpose of me going through all that fucking shit was. Oh, this is that. Okay. Sandwiches, chat. Oh. It's all in the reflexes. Fucking stealing fucking jokes from Jack Burton. Duke Nukem, you son of a bitch. See, they stole all his dialogue from John Carpenter movies, chat. That made me mad. Fuck that. You need to cast a young actor for Johnny Stern so he doesn't get too old for the role. Uh, Joe Keery, who plays uh, Steve from Stranger Things. That'd be my choice for uh, Human Torch. 
Hey, why is everyone obsessed with John Krasinski as Reed Richards? Have you seen him? He's fucking handsome as hell, man. You can sell that shit. Yeah, man. The Nick Fury of David Hasselhoff. Yeah, yeah, I've doomed my guy on my list. <laughs> I'll add it. There you go. It's been added. That's right. I gotta do two more polls, too. I gotta do two more polls <laughs> for future bad films. Uh. Step right up and get some. Hey, who the hell is fucking here? You. Come here. Oh. I need a towel. Oh, Chad, he's he's jizzing on me. My balls, your face. Yeah, can I leave, please? If I promise to kill you last, I think something big is in here with me now, Chad. Got him. What the hell is? I didn't know he was shooting at. We got a big old piggy! Nice. Got him, he's dead. Okay. Are we done? We're good? Solid? Gonna hurt me a little bit? Oh, that's gonna explode. Hello, chat. Still pitch fucking black. Where's Vin Diesel when we need him? Where's Riddick? Hey God, Zach Allen for Johnny. I, 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 I will, I will settle for a, um, for Joe Keery. Who's the guy that played, um, what's his name? The the bully, Billy from Stranger Things. He also played Jason the Red Ranger in the Power Rangers, um, 2017 film. I'll take either of those two. Greed, Devin. These jokes. They're st stealing all of the jokes from other people. Dacker Montgomery. I can never remember that guy's name. I think he would make a good Johnny Storm. I'll settle for either a Joe Carey or a Dacker Montgomery. Chad, those would be my picks. And my pick for the thing, Dean Norris. Dean Norris. The guy who played Hank on Breaking Bad. And also Better Call Saul. He's coming back for it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And Doctor Doom, Dan Stevens. I think my choice for Doctor Doom. Want to be around the same age as uh, John Krasinski? You do a good job. The clarifier. Let's fucking go! Show! Sure! Thank you for the one hundred and one biddies. Speed Jeep. Uh, ben Diesel with a rock is a thing. I think Dean Norris would be kind of fun to have as the thing, man. That's, I'm kind of settled on him. Thing man! Uh, thing with pants or nope, thing with pants. I want, he needs to wear pants, man. I want to know that he's just fucking Ken Doll Smooth down there. We don't need to know that. All right? Thing with pants. Dave, I, like, David Harbour would be my pick, Devin, but he's Red Guardian in, uh, in Black Widow. Yeah. Ah, it's bright. Ah! Hentai! What? Oh, sorry. Got some more hentai above me too, chat. That sounds ominous. Woo! Oh! Ah! Got him. Vin Diesel, but yeah, people wanted that Diesel play Black Wolf for some time. But I don't think we're gonna see the humans for quite a while. That TV series did not do them any favors. Man, it's probably it's probably not it's definitely not canon anymore either. Oh, the thing's great. Ben Grimm is great. Uh, greed. Free these people from the hentai. Uh, 
Yes. Aha! Found it. Let me go that way. Blocked by the head tower. There, chat. We gotta fuck him up, baby. Ah! Ah! They're fucking me up instead. I am the Duke. I'm the Duke. Oh my god. All right, chat. The six remain. The six remain. The six remain. The six. Okay, I deserve that. I deserve that, chat. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck myself up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. reintroduce the. I agree, Iron Laser. Reintroduce the uh, humans in the Fantastic Four film series. That'd be better. That's true. Hmm. And Marvel Television and Marvel Studios pretty much had their own civil war. They did, man. They did not get along. Well, that was Ike Perlmutter who controlled the TV stuff. And Kevin Feige used to answer that guy, but Kevin Feige was like, I'm not interested in that fucking prick ever again. Hmm. That frame rate. Oh, chat that frame rate. Oof. -a. This is 30 frames per second right now, but that dropped into like the teens right there. That was the teens, friends. What the hell are you? Got him. Sort them out. Okay, all these are fucking quotes from other properties. Duke doesn't have an original fucking idea in his head. Oh, you're starting to quit. That's right. Threatening to quit. He didn't like because he yeah he didn't like promo that much. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Rep Diego. I mean, who knows? We'll see. We'll see in a few years if they bring back Daredevil properly. Where am I going here? I, if they do that to the guy, I'd like for them to bring back Charlie Cox if it's an offer you. They did a great job, in my opinion. Uh, so, what direction am I going? Can't go through this door. Okay, do I have to, like, jump at something? <laughs> Seems like I have to get over there. Do I have to push boxes over? Nope. I'm legitimately confused right now. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> are you doing the uh, are you doing the review for the new Fantasy Island? Um I wasn't planning on it, but I can make that a stretch goal. I'll pay to see. I'll pay money to see that film, but I'll probably make it a stretch goal though. Okay, I seriously don't know where I'm supposed to go here. So I guess I'm supposed to go up here because I got to use this ladder. Okay, I got that. Um, am I supposed to jump off of something, or what's the plan? I don't think I can make it the other the other ways. Oh, chat. I, I, I legitimately do not know what to do in this section. They're not... They're not... Like... Is there a switch? Is there a switch here? That's a red light. Okay. Alright, that's... Okay, guzzling. Gotcha. Is there another door around here that I just missed? Uh, there's enemies here, but I don't know how to get to them. Uh, no. 
Nope, not that. Um, wait a minute. Door underneath here. No, nope, that's not a door. Okay, seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to go? Is there another is there another ladder around here? Or am I just not seeing it? So clearly I have to go this way. Is there a forklift I have to go? Oh, fuck! Right around? No? Something I didn't get about TVMA rated Marvel shows back then was they couldn't say fuck or show HBO style nudity, but Luke Cage and the people saying the N word like was stop. Yeah. Yeah, good point, man. Very good point. Okay, chat, I legitimately don't know where, what to do here. They have not explained it to me. It's not clear. Um, it's honestly kind of frustrating. This is some fucking bullshit. I can't, man, they really don't tell you anything. It's bad, Uncle Diego, I agree. The ladder, is what, what ladder? It's like the ladder... What? How? How? <laughs> it was not there before. That is bullshit. I pushed it? I didn't even realize I pushed it. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll go with it. We'll go with the chat. Ow, don't kill me, please. I'm in no, I'm in no, oh, fuck you and your barrels! Woo! <laughs> I guess pigs do fly. Oh, okay. Ha ha! Oh my god. Designed by monkeys for uh, uh, 14 years. Come to Diego. For 14 goddamn useless Movie. years. Stealing goddamn dialogue from Evil Dead now. Or he does it multiple times. Groovy, Hell to the King, all that shit. I gotta get the barrels off of the thing. I understand. I think that's what I need. I gotta get these barrels off. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's no, no, I don't, because they're apparently just fucking on there now. What's the point of that? Someone didn't like it. Ooh. All right, that man is dead. Hail to the king, baby. Fuck! Duke Nukem, you, you goddamn plagiarizing bastard. We're still in a basement. We're still in a goddamn basement. Yes, it does. Well, why are we fucking driving it? to go. 
go. Nope. Got any barrels over here? Got some weapons. Cool, cool, cool. This, where's this other barrel? Seri ah, Jesus Christ. I don't want to do this. There's another barrel around here that I didn't see down here. No. Okay. Alright, going really high, I guess. Sure. Whatever. Um. chat let's use it use it he's doing a great service by playing the duke game front yeah, at least i'm telling you this is this is a good this is a good game not to play chat i'm 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 showing you what a what a game this <laughs> what a terrible game this is you should not play it where the fuck am i going <sighs> here we go it is a goddamn gun. Just let me shoot. Let me just shoot things. Jump off and kill myself, chat. Wanna take it easy? Wanna be a little smart about it? It's it's testing my patience, Ion Laser. Testing my patience, chat. I can make out of you. Shut up! Fuck you! Is that what it has to be, huh? Take your sweet fucking time, you pig bastard. Another day, another disembowelment. Give me that. Give me, that. Give me all of it. Oh, the barrel, another barrel. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. More barrels! Retreat! Space pigs! Yep, space pigs. Scott! Gonna take a moment 
momentary reprieve, chat. From the giant fatties, the floating fatties. Just thrusting in my general fucking direction. He's literally pulling it out of his ass. So, yeah, is there a Doc Rainbow why this game sucks? I I'm sure there's some very talented YouTuber, YouTubers who have done dissertations and documentaries on this game. It is fucking terrible, chat. I always sell the courses at a goddamn college. And they're dead. Good. We're playing this bullshit. I'm just, I, just want, I just want to get past this level. I want to beat this game on stream, but man, it's testing my patience, guys. It's testing my patience. How close? I don't know how close I am to the end, but hopefully I'm pretty, I'm pretty close. I feel like I am. I feel like this is the end. Oh, this is it. This is it. <laughs> Phil Tani, this is the documentary. You're seeing it for yourself. <laughs> Please. The Clarifier Part 2. Mother of God. Hey, Diego, I gotta go to bed. Nightmare Weapon, Diego, thank you so much for stopping by the stream, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Let me see how close I am to the ending, guys. I'm gonna look up just Duke Nukem Forever. Uh... Let's play. I don't know, man. I just, I, I just want to know. I want to at least have an idea of where I am in this game. Okay. Uh, Duke. Nukem. Forever. I'm going to just type in long play. And see what that does. Where am I? I think, I think I'm near the end. Says I got about a half hour left. Less than that. Less than that, chat. About, um... Not about a half hour. A half hour left. We can do that. We can, we can do a half hour. We can do it! Fucking do it. But before that, chat, I'm gonna get another drink. I need a drink to get me for this half hour, chat. Please forgive me. I shall return shortly. Entertain yourselves amongst yourselves. I'm gonna get... In
All right, guys, we could do this. We could beat this thing. Half, tw half hour, 20 minute adventure, chat. Half hour, 20 minute adventure. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Here's to you. That guy's, how you doing, buddy? You okay? Oh God, oh God, they're everywhere. You gotta help me, please save me. Oh. Ow, that kind of hurt me a little bit. Oh, Chase is a torso now. He got fucked up real good. Where the hell are we? Oh. Got him. Got those little face huggers, son of a bitch. Speedy, thank you, honey minis. Okay, I'm off to bed. Have a good one, Chris. Sayonara. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for the support, man. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully by tomorrow. I, I, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to play the DLC for this game. I can't do it. Maybe maybe later in the month, but I'm not going to go. I, I'm just, we're going to move on to something else after this. I can't do it anymore. I can't fucking do it, chat. I can't fucking do it. going to probably start Resident Evil 5. Infinitely better than this game. I died! Oh! Ooh. <laughs> enough is a fucking enough for Tron Miss. Agreed. Low times two, chat. Ah, this guy's gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Ah! Die already. I'll kill you myself. Oh god! Oh god! They're everywhere! You gotta help me! Please save me! Oh. I'll pay you to not play. I'm not gonna play the DLC. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I am, uh, gonna skip that. Gonna move on to Resident Evil 5 after this chat. bad game it's a divisive game i'm not the biggest fan of it but i think it'll make for a fun stream a funny stream fucking chris boulder punching redfield baby <laughs> oh chap it's something else isn't it i still gotta do the polls too we gotta vote on the polls one more time. I die one more time. Ah! Sounds like me when I scream. Ah! Oh God! Play cop. Oh no, I'll be solo playthrough. They're everywhere. You gotta help me, please save me. God. Save you, save me. Someone's playing this bullshit. Give me that 
goddamn shotgun. Where's that shotgun? Give it to me. Fuck out of here. I can't go this way. I can't go this way! Oh, yeah. There's more where that came from. Alright, what else we got? Ooh, chat. Platforms? I didn't, even, I didn't know there were platforms. At least you know. And knowing's have the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> oh, it just needs a social contract? Yeah, man, that's how, that's how I was viewing it at the time. It's not really there. It's not really there at all. I can't see it. Okay, there are platforms? Am I just missing this? Oh, it's all! Oh! Ow! Ah! Nailed it. Joe, <laughs> thank you for the hundred bitties. I did it. <laughs> We're good. Yay! <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a little. T I need to be a little fucking tipsy, man, to get through this bullshit. <laughs> Hentai, all this dry, this is dry fish, Chad. That's what this is. <laughs> oh my god. Is Dylan okay? You okay, buddy? God, this music fucking sucks. Hey, who said the music's bad? You're right. It's terrible. Wall fucking the base of the dam. Cycloid Emperor is here. Fucker. Okay. The power shutdown didn't work. You got gonna ambushed. die. <laughs> fucking flanked me, Duke. Not enough cover from these pussies. I guess guy's dying, chap. We're gonna have to blow the whole fucking dam. Take you these charges. Yep, got it. the fuckers right on the dam's balls and blow it to shit. Okay. <laughs> blow it. Out the Emperor's ass! He's dead, Chad. Dylan's Guess dead. He won't be in the sequel. <laughs> what a what a shit thing to say! This guy loved you, Duke, and you're, you that's what you tell him? What a Wow! 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 Ow! Unbelievable. What the fuck? What just hit me? Huh? 
them here or I guess I'm going over this way first chat sure why not have I, have I already been here I think I've already been here before I have been ah, I'm, I'm all fucking discombobulated dams have balls yeah man I didn't know that either the, the more you know chat the more you fucking know Crazy. Duke is skirting the line. He's moved past the line, man. He's miles away from the line. Uh, Ow. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wait, it's left your now. Great. I guess. I guess that's what I have to do. I assume. Alright. I legitimately don't know, actually, Chad. Uh, I don't know what my objectives are. Do I have to plant the bombs here? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the game hasn't told me! Let's go ahead and see. Duke Nukem, just do Duke Nukem long play. <sighs> Help me out here. How am I doing this? Yep, I'm right there. That's true. Oh, it's underneath the water. Okay, you did that. watching him right now chat he go, went through there all right gotta go back to the hentai man maybe i gotta go back to, oh good no nope, no nope, nope, that's not either either all right we're he's, he's as lost as i am chat he's as lost as i fucking am let's see where he goes oh i gotta go over there oh is that, is that it no no it's not it either he picked up the he picked up the slut butts uh the the book too chat you're looking at that as well he seems flummoxed. Running? Yeah. See, game doesn't give, give me a, even an objective. It doesn't even give you fucking objective. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> 15 minutes left in this, too. Is a valve. You motherfucker. You game. You piece of garbage. There's a valve down here, chap. Of course they don't fucking tell you it's a goddamn valve. Where are you, valve? Shut up, Duke. You're fine. Don't worry about it. 
Let's go down there. Adjust to the water pressure. You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, I'll transition over, chat. We got 15 minutes left, guys. 15 minutes. Let's fucking do it. There's a fine line between smart ass, sarcastic, and asshole. You're right, Devin. You're correct, sir. This guy's basically like scribbling in the answers when there's two minutes left in the test. Yup. Oh, we got we got a rush. We got just uh put put put, put like a, a hallway right here. Fucking water level. Uh, boss right sub boss and end boss. Yeah, it's it's a fucking mess. Damn! Plant the wall bombs at the base of the dam. Place with the goddamn dam. You watch me. Oh, well, this is so, yeah. Isn't this great gameplay, chat? Isn't this great gameplay? Fucking just <sighs> swimming. Ah, uh. oh, it's so much fun. Don't even know if that did anything. Am I trapped in here? Can I exit out of this? Oh, that's good. Objective. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. No, not that one. Great, great, great. Per I'm gonna watch this guy, chat. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to go. I have no objectives. <sighs> Gotta follow yellow pipe though, apparently. Am I going to this great thing? Let's let he's going to a great. Now you gotta press a button. I mean that's all I gotta do. Ah, I gotta put one of the charges on there. Oh great. <laughs> Well, the great didn't fucking tell me to put the goddamn charge in the goddamn thing. But at either end of the damn, that can mean multiple things. Yeah, that's very noticeable. Plant them up. There you go, let's put the plants. Where am I planting this other bomb? Tell me, YouTube guide! I think I know. God damn it. Ooh, check. There we go. Did I, what did I even open?
Chat, that was Duke Nukem. Uh, surprise ending. Didn't think they would end with a uh, water level, but uh, they did. Bold choice, in my opinion. But that was Duke Nukem Forever. Fuck this game. It's a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. They don't have your penultimate level. Your penultimate level be a water level of all things. That is some bullshit right there, chat. No, 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 no. Probably starting tomorrow, guys. Or starting soon. We'll be playing some Resident Evil 5, a divisive game. I'm not the big fan of it, though it has its fan base. We're going to start this. This game is going to be the best one I'm probably going to play this month. No question about that. Yeah, but we'll, we'll play some Resident Evil 5. All right, Ledger. Guys, again, thank you so much for the amazing support today. We got to do a poll, though. We got to do two polls for bad movies. I got to keep track of this shit now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that, chat. Oh, God. Let's get into it. Let's see. Let's do a new, new poll for some bad movies. What? movie should i review so look the ones i gotta keep track of like i do suicide squad tomorrow suicide squad suicide squad scooby-doo all right we got two more to do now all right let's pick up some options you got any suggestions suggest them now please do so <laughs> so let's add a few Gonna add. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add some fun ones for myself. Anaconda. Uh, Truth or Dare. Dick Tracy. I'll throw Dick Tracy in there. Why not? Dick Tracy. Uh, Terminator. 1984. What was it? Oh, an Evil. The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. Here you go, chat. These are the options. Make that a nice. Uh, I'll do. I'll do, I'll do three. I'll do a three-minute poll. There you go. Go ahead and vote. There, guys, gonna appear above the chat itself near the Biddy Boss Champions. The options are Anaconda, Truth of Dare, Dick Tracy, Terminator 1984, or The Evil Dead. What are you guys gonna vote on? Y'all yeah, vote for Terminator uh, 1984. Nice. All right. There we go. Good movie. I can do that one. I mean, no, oh, no, oh God, no! <laughs> oh, Terminator, oh, truth, okay, good. Terminator is back in first place. I love it. The truth of Daryl was it was tied with Terminator briefly. <laughs> oh my God! There you go. Got vote for Evil Dead. I wouldn't mind reviewing that one. That'd be a fun one. Very nice chat. But Terminator 1984 is still in lead with 50% of the vote. Majority. The lion's share, if you will. Mystery Man. God, Perry, I can't, can't, don't put, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do Mystery Mystery Man. That's, that's a nasty film. That's a bad one. Yeah. Oh, evil, oh okay. Terminator and Evil Dead tie. I don't mind that at all. That's a good tie. <laughs> That'll be a fun one. <laughs> That'd be a good review. Well, either uh, either or. It would be cruel if this truth or dare is also tied up. They'd be like, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Down the Terminator and those goddamn deadites, chat. Those undead sons of bitches. Man, we're, past, we're past the midway point. About a minute, I'd say a minute and a half right now. Yeah, I'll eventually do the, probably the entire Evil Dead franchise and the Terminator franchise. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then, Resident Evil Afterlife for bad. Ooh. Ooh. I can do the entire Resident Evil franchise, matter of fact. That'd be good. Attack from Mars. Uh, I've seen Mars Attacks, the Tim Burton movie, but not Attack from Mars. I'm not a, I, I don't like Mars Attacks, I can tell you that much. No, oh, chat. Looks like it's going to be a time. I'm going to have to do a new poll just to see what will win, either Terminator or Evil Dead. That will have to be. We need we need a deciding vote. Hmm. I never seen Plan Fifty One. That's the animated film, right? With the Rock. Heard that one's particularly terrible. Tell me the the top one. I love. Put the cookie down. 
Yeah, man. Do my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression for the entire goddamn review. That'd be fun. Oh, it's tied, Chuck. I, I gotta do another. I gotta do a secondary poll just to pick between Terminator and Evil Dead. What it, what it looks like here now. Oh, Evil Dead! Right, vote came in there at the last second. Chat. Well, there you have it, the Evil Dead guys. That'll be my my review for Wednesday. So just to give you a basic uh, um, uh, inkling of what the uh, future reviews are going to be. Tomorrow, Suicide Squad, around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Monday, Birds of Prey, giving that to you for free. Tuesday, Scooby-Doo, and Wednesday, The Evil Dead. Thank you. Finally, a good movie to review. <laughs> Add that there right now. The original Evil Dead. And we'll do one more poll, guys. This will be for Friday since we did hit the uh, stretch goal. We hit multiple times during the stream alone. Like three, we hit the stretch goal three times, I think, tonight. So let's go ahead and do a new poll. Put some of the same ones I had before. Put uh, Terminator. Terminator. Uh, 1984. It'll be a fun one. Uh, Anaconda. Anaconda. Truth. Truth or dare. Oh, JT, welcome to the stream, JT. How you doing? Alex is, oh, Alex is streaming. What? That's awesome. Uh, Mount of Tax is a super disturbing movie, man. That, man that, that's just an uncomfortable watch. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that. Truth or dare. What were some of the other ones you guys have suggested before? Uh... You know what? Let's. You know what? You guys have suggested uh, Resident Evil. We'll put. We'll put the the original, the first Resident Evil. We'll do that one. We'll do the first Resident Evil, and we'll do Dick Tracy. We'll do those. This will be. This is for the Friday review. Friday review chat, and we'll. Uh, what is it? Uh, three minutes. There you go. Start the poll. Yeah. How you doing, JT? Hope your Friday's going well, my man. Dude, ooh, that'd be a good one. Heavy, ooh, ooh, ooh. But why, Richard? Why would make me watch Bye Bye Man again? Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> but Heavyweights, Heavyweights. Oh, I love that film. I love Heavyweights. That's a good comment. It's Ben Stiller's first movie he ever did. Oh, I didn't start the poll. Sorry, chat. Starting the poll. Where's it going? You, oh, I, got, I did type in the question. Uh, what, <laughs> Sorry, guys. What movie should I... Watch. Hold on. Watch. Nice. Fucking nice. Chat. There we go. GT doing good. Drinking pineapple sage. Sunday. I got a little pineapple juice in this. Very cool. There you go, guys. So the options for Friday movie review. Terminator 1984, the original Terminator, Anaconda, Truth or Dare, Resident Evil, and Dick Tracy. We got a vote for Truth or Dare and a vote for Dick Tracy. Currently tied. I'll vote for Resident Evil, the original Paul W.S. Anderson film. Mm. Dick Tracy pulled ahead. 50% of the vote. Got them two votes right there, chap. I'll vote for Resident Evil. Resident Evil and Dick Tracy are now tied. Uh, Resident Evil is pulling ahead with 50% of the vote. Three votes right there. Mm. Mothman Prophecies. I've seen that before. I kind of like that. I like Mothman Prophecies. If the dry, dry week is over, man. They couldn't even make a week. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> there we go, guys. Resident Evil is uh, in the lead right now. About two-thirds of the way through the poll. Eh, no, about a third of the way through. Going to come up to the halfway point. Yay! <laughs> this is Revenue ain't hype. Gotta vote for Anaconda. I'm gonna keep Anaconda in there, guys, because I wanna I wanna eventually review that film. I think it'll be a fun review. But Resident Evil is the one right now. It's dominating. Though Dick Tracy is behind it, though. It could change things. Mm. That's a new one I had too tonight, based on uh, who was suggested. Who was the guy who uh, suggested Dick Tracy? I think I seen the movie once. Did not like it. <laughs> Did not care for that film. <laughs> About, I'd say about a minute left at this point. 
Retronomist. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Well, less than a minute left, I'd say now, chat with Resident Evil in the lead. That'll be for Friday's review. The, the original Paul W.S. Anderson uh, film. Which, compared to the rest of the, the, the series, is probably the second best, in my opinion. <laughs> right behind three. So that'd be, that'd be an okay watch. It'd be an entertaining watch, at the very least. Yeah, it looks like that's what it's going to be. Unless they get, we get another tie for Dick Tracy or... Uh, Either Anaconda or Truth the Dare pick up some uh, extra votes, but it looks like it's going to be Resident Evil, guys. Voltron, welcome to the stream. Just saw you there, buddy. How you doing? Hmm. Oh, oh. oh chat, a couple seconds left. There it is. It looks like RE1 is the going to be the big winner, and eh, Resident Evil. The original film directed by Paul W. Anderson is going to be Friday's review. Guys, I have my whole list of films I'm going to do reviews for. My scene by scene by scene by scene breakdowns. Tomorrow, Suicide Squad. i got to start watching that tonight. Monday, this one's for free. Getting this to you for free, guys. Birds of Prey. Tuesday, Scooby-Doo. Uh, uh, Wednesday... Evil Dead, the Evil Dead, the original, and Friday, Resident Evil. That's a, that's five films, chat. Again, thank you. For, again, thank you for, uh, the, for the support. It's been amazing to do this kind of stuff. I'm glad you guys are responding. Well, I'm gonna try to keep these at least at an hour at most. Hour at most. So I'll be mindful. Uh, but yeah, in case I'm I'm going over an hour, please remind me. So I'll I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap that shit up. But with that, guys, thank you again for the support. I am gonna call it a night. Voltron, no, everything's going well, man. No, it's been a fantastic stream. I deleted Duke Nukem off of my console because I said, fuck that game because the penultimate level was a water level. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. We're going to move on to Resident Evil 5 tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I'm through with that bullshit. <laughs> Razzy, damn, Chris is a full stack of movies. I got a full stack. That's, again, the, the support has been amazing, guys. Um, I do believe I'm going to reach partner probably by December, at least by December 2020. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, and do tune in to, after you watch my Suicide, uh, Suicide Squad spoiler review tomorrow, tune in to 8-Bit Crumbs tomorrow, guys. Got a lot of fun topics already planned. Would appreciate it. But with that, I'm calling it a night. Uh, for those who don't know, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, typically starting around 7.30, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also stream on Saturdays and Sundays around 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to follow me on social media, you can check me out on Twitter at Chris J. Herman. Also on Facebook under Chris Herman. And on Instagram under Mr. Revan 7 If you want to see my previously recorded streams, Let's Plays, or video reviews, you can check my website, classinaglass.net, or my YouTube channel, Class in the Glass. Now, guys, before I go, I shall lead someone. There's one. Now, I believe. I owe, I think I owe Tiffany Lockhart a raid. I'm gonna, I'm, I owe her a raid, but I think I'm, I gotta give it to Alex. Is Alex, yeah, Alex playing Planet Zoo? Let's give uh, Alex a raid. She's taught me so much, guys. Been one of my best supporters, about a year and a half at this point. Excuse me, but in the future, I will definitely congratulate uh, Tiffany Lockhart. Let's look at Madam Guillotine, guys. Give her the respect that she deserves. Now I forgot how to spell guillotine. G T I N E. Damn it! Hold on. Hold on. Mulligan. Mulligan chat. Madam Guillotine. Yay! It's happening! Again, guys, thank you so much for the support. I'll be back tomorrow uh, with my review of Suicide Squad. I'm sad.